Oh, right. Looks like everything is where it needs to be, Sam. Hell yeah. Uh, you know what? It's a, about time that things started working just a little bit better. I mean, <laughs> you know, doing this a year, we should be getting better at it by now. I mean, that's only one year of experience. You need at least 20 years experience in the field for flawless everything. And technology will still get you every time. I mean, anyone who's uh, listened to our old videos knows <laughs> how bad it was. <laughs> oh, <laughs> anyone that's listened to those, I apologize profusely. <laughs> There's always room for improvement. That's yeah. the... you know, and in the least, it wasn't that bad for that long. <laughs> 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 Absolutely, <laughs> like I, I'm hoping to continue to improve because, like. We actually got the, the perfect person to tell us how to do things better with us right now. It is true. Mysterious <laughs> voice in the studio. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> the thing creeping across the land. <laughs> god damn, that sounded so good. It did sound really I wonder if somebody out there is like, oh my god, I recognize this voice. <laughs> there might be. There, there, there might be. Just maybe a couple. Uh maybe two. Mm. <laughs> at least at least two. <laughs> they are out there they they exist i i assure you and our uh, listeners have uh, heard us mention your name before and i'm sure they've been long awaiting this episode. <laughs> yeah they're like what the fuck Love ryan's been, been hella excited to meet another one well, yeah, yeah, it, it doesn't happen very often you know it's a blue moon thing but like I can still count on like one hand the number of Orions that I've met in my lifetime. Which uh, me too. It, it, it's based, <laughs> it's, like I'm filling up the hand, you know. Th that's you, the thing. You, know, you have more than I do. We talked about that earlier. Like the only I only met one. You're the second one. I, the the only Orion I've ever met was like a, a decade ago, at, or oh god, I'm that old. Fifteen years ago, <laughs> uh, and and it was a chick, and. Uh, that was a good night. Um, this is this is all the Orions I've ever known. Yeah, There's, yeah. This is probably the biggest gathering that the Council of Orions has assembled in quite some time. I, I yeah. must say. Yeah. You ever see that Facebook meme where it was like fifty Johns? <laughs> they were like the Council of John. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, didn't they well, I'm going to call like... bullshit on that. There is no council. <laughs> you see, Johns are so plentiful. They have to elect uh, yeah, representative Johns. Exactly. That's why they had like a, like a fight, fight it out. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they vote for it. It's, the, it's more of a John Republic. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. There you go. <laughs> Wait, it, it, I see my screenshot of me somehow. Do you guys just see that? The, what? The no, uh, on your monitor? No. <laughs> okay, never mind. No, th Magic. yeah, my my Discord is buggy as fuck. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, never mind. I'll send a screenshot and be like, I'll send. Uh, it's <laughs> you know. Shout out to yeah. Discord to fix this buggy shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. But still, we yeah. use it, <laughs> so yeah. it can't be entirely but, bad. Hey, you know that's why I still use Skype. So shout out to Skype. Jesus. No. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like nobody. That's like that's like AOL online for like. Uh, yeah. Shit, shit. Still got Internet Explorer. <laughs> Where you get those free discs back in the day? Uh, oh, dude, dude, I used to use those as like a little makeshift throwing stars because like yeah, you can you get them for free all the time in the mail. Coasters. You got Net Zero. You got all those guys. <laughs> yeah, uh, Net Zero makes the best coasters, hands yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> all right well before we get too off topic we got to get on topic okay okay right. well intro. intro Woo! intro <laughs> i hear nothing <laughs> Is it even playing? What? You did you not hear that? <laughs> I didn't you hear not... anything. What? 
Oh, why? I, I am going to be so <laughs> upset with my... Here, what? Here, here I, I gave you... I just sent you a thing via email of the, my Discord where I'm like... We're just gaslighting our listeners now. <laughs> no, hey. Gaslighting me? <laughs> I heard that perfectly are fine. Uh, we are. We are, oh my actually. God. We are live. Yeah, Great. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> well, you know... I, I'm I'm confident that our listeners have heard the uh, intro, but with gaslighting aside, hello and welcome <laughs> to Dungeons and Talk Shows. The Dungeons talk and show Talk Shows are doing the thing. We eat the fucking <laughs> we're fucking Dungeons and Dragons. Fuck it, yeah. Yes, yeah, the, the yeah. new intro. I love it. I am, your, I am your host, Orion, and <laughs> I am your host, Sam. <laughs> oh, to another mess that we call our podcast. <laughs> Fantastic. Indeed. I am not Perfect. the only Orion. Hello, fellow Orion. Why don't you uh, introduce yourself? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, hi, everybody. I'm Orion Acaba. I'm a voice actor from Los Angeles, uh, California. And uh, I'm here to talk to another Orion and of course, our boy Sam, that should get us to the end to throw the ring in the uh, pit of Mordor. Ooh. It's been a long time in coming. You see, the, the Council of Orions has heard your request, and <laughs> after very much consideration, we have decided to grant you a membership to the Council. Oh, lovely. The eagles have flown in. Yes. And indeed. have saved me. There's I like Lord of the Rings. I'm just saying. There's going to be a lot ah, of music. That's <laughs> fine. That's fine. I won't, maybe I won't let it slip that I've never actually watched Lord of the Rings. Oh, my God, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> this is why. All right, look. This is why, this is why I genuinely. You could have gone to your Sam. grave with that one. <laughs> oh, Sam. It's no, one it's, of those things no, where it's, beautiful. It's, it's so pop cultureized. No, you know? do it. Like, just, I, don't, I don't even have to watch it. Anymore. Just there drink a every- few beers, okay? <laughs> And if you have a, a whole day, you can watch a literal whole day, by the way, yeah, if you get the extended like, cuts, <laughs> unedited, exactly. You got to watch those because it's going to take you 12 hours. Point is, you'll be a better man afterwards, uh, <laughs> or worse for wear. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> he, he could be Sam the Wise afterwards. Wow. Ooh. I know that reference. Yeah, Sam Wise, you're Gamshi. <laughs> you need to know these things, Sam. <laughs> I love you, Sam. My precious. Yeah, <laughs> precious. Yes. So, I mean, we're getting a little taste of the voice acting work. Uh, you are, know. Uh, what other things have you been in? Uh, well, actually, as of this year, I clocked over 105 voices for different projects. Oh, wow. um, Ooh, that's impressive, considering the year has... We are barely into the third month. This is March second, as per recording, and just yeah. like yeah, no, that's yeah. a lot. That, yeah, no, it, it's a uh, it's a thing. Uh, one of the things, and I'm happy to say that I've been involved with uh, the Lord of the Rings franchise, Star Trek, Star mm. Wars. Mm. Uh, there like, we go. Like 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 name it. Uh, yeah. Final Fantasy. Uh, I've been, I've had the privilege to work with, to be Apollo Justice and Ace Attorney. I'm Crazy Dave in the Plants vs. Zombies games. Uh, I've, I've, I've done. Uh, Fuck, I didn't realize. Like, I was looking through You're your. Crazy uh, Dave? Yeah. <laughs> we got Crazy Dave. Oh, oh, dude. Dude. <laughs> yeah, the guy with the pop head. Uh, oh, that's amazing. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, Call of Duty. Uh, um, I'm Rico in Just Cause 4. There's a lot of things I've got to do, which uh, awesome. which is always a, a privilege to to work um, in those uh, projects. Uh, so, uh, but there there there's 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 a few, uh, a few more uh, Naruto. If you if, if there's any anime fans out there, uh, oh, we are major anime fans on this podcast. Yeah. Uh, so um, I'm like I'm in that too, uh, and uh, a couple other ones, uh, JoJo's um i i did see that i i'm a big uh jojo guy uh <laughs> in, in typical jojo fashion i cannot convince other people to watch it for the life of me i don't know if this is on the same line of like you don't ask a woman her age or like her weight but uh who were you in an art 
I was, uh, God damn it. I'm like I, hearing it in your voice now. Our brain's like racking through every character. I, I know. It's, it's hard. <laughs> it, that was a while ago. Uh, oh, God. I, I was looking through the list last night because I was showing my buddy, and he's like, Whoa, he was in Fire Emblem? That's cool. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. 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 Uh, 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 Kellum and uh, Jerome in uh, Fire Emblem, yeah. which were great uh, to, to play. Uh, I, I love that game. And I, just to note for all you nerds, I play all the games I'm in because nice. I, I was just about to ask. I, I, got, I got into this because I was a gamer uh, back in the day. Mm. I mean, in the day, now the day, whatever. Mm. Uh, now all the day. <laughs> all the day. <laughs> um, and Final Fantasy uh, is a, a very near dear thing. I've been in a few and that's a franchise mm. that's close to my heart. Uh, so, so I've gotten to voice, uh, a, a bunch of cool, uh, people and I will try to remember in my brain who I did in Naruto, but, uh, I understand. Uh, you I like look, you, you've up. been so many characters. I, I imagine it's hard. So if you're, if you're, if you're checking things out, uh, it's on the IMDB, I'm sure it's there, but, mm. uh, but, uh, yeah. Um, that's so but, cool. But there's a, there's a lot. Oh of yeah. Uh, here it is. Uh, Hoheito oh, hey, Hoheito, so that's that's yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, that was that was cool. I did like three episodes with them. That's so cool. Uh which was awesome. And uh yeah, like uh I do I mean, I don't know if we get into stories now, but uh I did have I did do a dub like in like my first two years of of doing this for it's called MM. It's like an old ass anime and it's like all about like uh like a an snm school and i had to do it yeah yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> this is real um all right uh and, Let him and, cook. Let and, him and i <laughs> did the trailer for that anime and it was like hey slap whoever he likes it you gotta go and to this school, <laughs> it was like the weirdest shit I've had to like dub. Um, but I've done a, a, a bunch uh, of stuff too. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. love it. Cause I, I want to get into doing more voice acting type stuff myself. Cause oh like, God. I, I mentioned before uh, the show that I had been working on this audiobook. I managed to get some recording in today because, like, the wife took the kids out for like a little nature walk. So that was nice. Nice. Ah, yeah. Lovely. Lovely. There, yeah, and 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 you got a few, which is which is that. Uh, I definitely think you have the voice for it, Ryan. There's a, it's a whole. Well, uh, I certainly want, try. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, what we talk, it's you know, it's all about range. It's all about we can get into that, too. Yeah. Oh, you're, oh you're, absolutely. You're the captains of the ship. Where, <laughs> where do we go from here? Well, let's see. We. There's just like so much that I, I kind of want to ask in uh, terms of uh, like D&D and voice acting. Sure. Because, yeah. like, but so many people like they want to give more voices to their characters mm. and DMs like like you said, range. Oh, yeah. but, like there's sure it's fine for tons of DMs that can't really voice that many characters. But if you're able to like kind of distill it down to a few archetypes like, you know, it just that tiny bit of range. Oh. It is just amazing for storytelling. Like, what advice would you give to uh, DMs and players that are trying to kind of like breathe more life into their characters? Well, I, I, you know, that's a that's awesome because you know so what I think every single person, because uh, I coach people, you know, um, and, and you know, I do you know voice coaching, and and I tell everyone, everyone, no matter if you're a novice to a professional, you've got five voices in you. You've got five voices in you. Right. You have mm. your narrative. Right. right. You have the narrative, like what you say, like this is what's going on and blah, 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 blah. Right. right. And then you have the other four where you have your villain, you have your hero, you have your merchant and you have your uh, 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 victim. Right. Ah, so, OK. That, so, that makes okay, sense. Okay. So, so is the merchant like my phone voice, like uh, that, be... that really feminine thing that I put on to, <laughs> to deal with uh, people that I don't want to deal with? It, 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 it all depends. Right. Like, you know, if, if you're if you're a DM. Right. And you're starting mm. and you're just and you're starting a group. 
you know, you, you do the intro, you tell the players what's going on, and that's your narrative, right? Mm -hmm. And then right. when people are going into stuff, you, they run into probably a merchant first, right? Before any shit right. pops mm -hmm. off. Um, unless he throws you right in or she throws you right into some shit. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, but normally it's like, oh, you guys meet here, and then you're here, and then you go to the town and... You get your stuff if you have any, you know, whatever you looted or what you had to begin with, with your character sheets, you know, so you can go to and buy these things. And when you go to the first merchant, it's it's really just this thing of uh, separating yourself from the narrative. Right. So it, 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 it's a, a thing where it's like uh, the narrative starts like you're all in this right. town and this and this and this. And you don't want to be too dramatic, uh, like unless yeah. It, uh, at first, you know, you can build up to the drama as you go through the, the uh, campaign, right? right. Um, yeah, and kind of like leaning into the tone a little bit. Exactly, because everybody's, everybody's figuring out their characters in that game at the first, like, you know, right. so everybody's like just starting, so you don't want to be too heavy. Uh, yeah. and, and after that, you know, so you're out in the town, then you go to the first merchant, and the the... The thing with the merchant or whoever you first talk to can be as crazy or silly as you want or as grounded as you want, right? So mm -hmm. it could be like, uh, if you like to mess around with accents, I, I highly recommend fucking with accents. Like, start just exploring. Be weird. Like, it, it doesn't right. even have to make any sense, right? It, it, because the race... Like wherever you're at, if it's the elf or whatever, like you know, like it could, it could be just as what would you like to purchase, or versus like uh, what are you looking for today? You know, like it, it, mm -hmm. you know, it can go from there to there and anything in between. Yeah, you know, so so have fun with the merchant, uh, have fun with the pe the the thing that sets off the characters to go do what they're gonna about to do, like and make it comfortable, right? Uh, and then. Sure. And then, you know, as the characters find their, their, their own thing, as far, and this is all for the DMs, right? So as far as the, 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 their own things, right. they're going to figure those things out as they're talking. And you're going to be like, okay, like I have papers here so I can rustle, <laughs> I can rustle some paper. You're going to be like, okay, uh, you know, and do that. And, be, and, and then make that decision of like when they get to their first uh you know, mm -hmm. uh, encounter, right? Uh, you know, they're like, okay, we're leaving town. We're doing this now. They all make a decision, right? And the DM allows that in the narrative voice. Um, and it's it, it 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 it's always great to be comforting as the the DM as a narrator, right? It's always cool to be like, and uh, now you do this. Are you sure? Like, I, I, I yeah. love that question, by the way. Yeah, I love yeah. that role. It's too. very questioning. Are and you? like, it's just one of those things where when you're leaving things open ended as a DM, just it makes the player like, OK, there's more weight to even the most innocuous of decisions. Yeah, exactly. Make them like second guess and think more. Exactly. And then and then there's more conversation and the, the game goes mm. on right with with the player mm. and it makes everything more comfortable because then people are talking like oh should we do this and, and they're trying to figure out their voices with their characters and yeah. and to to the character players i would suggest you know just explore uh not giving a shit like if <laughs> true if, if you want to be like you know uh you know if 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 you're a a a, a tiny person in real life and you want to be a like a you know seven foot you know, barbarian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go for Topical. it. Topical. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, no, we're going to do this. I think we should go here. Hey. And, and <laughs> you know, just just go for, just go for, it, but stick with the character because that's gonna yeah. that's that's gonna drive the entire game, like from from yeah. from, from player to player, right? Um, and, and so so. Uh, back to the dm stuff when when you have your first encounter you need to make sure that you go for it too you know like it, it like mm. if, if you're like now you're facing a bunch of kobolds or whatever the fuck you know kobolds i don't know how the fuck right Kobold. <laughs> those guys <laughs> yeah 
goblins with less smoke. Right, right. <laughs> and the, and you, I don't yeah, know. Like, they, they can be pretty rowdy with their little scorpion yeah. on a tail type invention. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying. So if you're going to go with that, then like go for it. Like make sure that you have a napkin or a mm -hmm. towel near you so you can be like, so what are you doing here? You know, like just go for it. You know, like, yeah, because yeah, that will give your, your group um, that level of uh, theater of the mind, as we say, mm. uh, for them mm. to react in their characters. Right. Yeah. Uh, you got to really like it helps paint that picture. That's what you're trying. To exactly. Do. Exactly. Yeah. In front of them. And uh, when you take that first step, kind of like even doing the most silly of voices, it, um, it kind of invites the players to yeah. do it, too. Exactly. It, it, that's sticks down that pressure that, that 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 makes it easier for everybody to just be idiots i mean the the perfect thing about D, &D i would say is it allows people to step out of themselves which i would say you can play a character two ways play it as yourself or don't and if you choose don't then fucking just go nuts like uh like Tiberius uh, from uh, Critical, like I, that that was like a version of me, but not right. Uh, right. So, right. So, yeah. Uh, so so I and I allowed myself to just go further, right. And, and it's only because uh, Mercer was just a great DM. Uh, 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 Matt Mercer, to be to be clear, mm -hmm. but uh, 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 yeah, it, it, he was just that's what he did. He he allowed everybody to just. Uh, allow themselves to be whatever they want it to be or not. So it, 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 it's, it's a thing for DMs to really take heed to, uh, which I thought was the best part. And we started off in Pathfinder, but we'll get to that. Um, yeah, I, I am curious about that because, like, you guys started off as just a, a typical home game and, and in Pathfinder, no less. Yeah. Uh, I believe it was like, a, what, first edition Pathfinder, which is kind of a yes. offshoot mm -hmm. of uh, what. 3.5 D, D was at the time which uh, that's how i really started out because 3.5 just a very number crunchy very like there is a lot that you could do with that yeah. compared to modern fifth edition where the often the biggest criticism you see is it's very there's not as much to it which is both its strength and weakness at its same time yes. at the same time yeah yeah definitely yeah, uh, with Pathfinder, uh, there was, yes, there was a lot more freedom. There was a lot more math. Uh, there was, <laughs> there's, there's, there's a lot, which I loved, uh, uh, and uh, yeah, Nerd. yeah. <laughs> 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 there's, but uh, but we got to, you know, we got to fuck with things a little bit more if you knew how to fuck with it, you know, like, right. um, yeah, with, which you know, uh. uh uh, Wizard of the Coast, that you you know that was not the case, um, and um, I mean a lot of the I mean, well, the the characters that were built in that is now Critical Role, like that was uh, that was Mercer allowing us to be like, yeah, you want to do this? Like the, the reason that like uh, Percy, um, you know, mm. had, like that was a whole thing he built the whole grit system yeah. and all that stuff too, like. Like that was him allowing him to do what he wanted to do just for us to have a game, you know, um, mm. with, uh, Tiberius, like, uh, he, you know, I was like, can I have this? And th I've, like, I've always been like, well, if I have this robe and this thing and this thing to start, that means my, you know, AC is going to be up at 18 as a sorcerer, which is nuts. So like, oh, yeah, absolutely to start, you know, and, and he was like, you know what? And he, <laughs> <laughs> with much chagrin he's like fine you that works I'll, I'll allow it and and you know so so from from the gate he allowed all of us to build characters and with everybody else he kind of you know helped them along uh with building their characters and uh and this this was all actually i mean really critical role happened because of liam o'brien um mm -hmm. that's like actually the real story uh it was a thing for his birthday. Um, we all got together and uh, and uh, and we had a game uh, because he hadn't played in a while. He wanted to do it, and uh, yeah, and it was us, you know, the 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 us us nine, and and we played and and uh, yeah. So so Mercer would help 
you know, everybody, you know, build their characters and do their stuff. And, uh, and, and that's how it all kind of started. And it was about like, I mean, I want to say it went on for like a year plus or something like that. Like where it was just like this rumored, like, Oh, a bunch of voice actors are doing this like cool D and D shit. And like, I had, yeah. I had no idea to be fair. I'm going to be, I'm going to tell the truth here. I, I had no fucking idea yeah. like how cool D and D was. I was, I was more of a magic. The Gathering. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> I was more of a magic, the gathering guy. Uh, so I played that. Like I, 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 sh I should say I play that very well. Um, and so I went, Ooh. I went in, uh, going like D and D, this sounds cool. And, uh, <laughs> and I was, uh, very good friends with, uh, him and Marisha, uh, especially, um, and uh we uh yeah we, we started that because uh liam wanted to do a game and, th and that's how it happened and then you know, we played and then it just became like this weird uh you know game that like everybody kind of started knowing about in the community and uh we were not prepared at the time and uh because we were just it was, it was for us you know it, yeah it was just some some guys having a good time yeah no like it was just it was yeah, a friend i think that's where a lot of the heart kind of comes from because like when Absolutely. it is your just your home game you're just a bunch of friends like screwing around and yeah no the fact that it just kind of like started as like hey let's all just get together for our buddy's birthday like that just has like this organic charm to it that is yeah. it was around you know his I mean? birthday it wasn't on the birthday but to, to be well, fair but still yeah. he wanted to do it and it was it was it was because of liam uh but no but it, it, it's this thing uh, where uh geek and sundry like approached us and it was so bizarre um uh because like i i remember uh i remember uh the <laughs> remember, remember, remember. remember this remember dad um Remember Chewbacca? <laughs> remember the Death Star? <laughs> uh, but but yeah, no, like uh, you know, we the like one of the producers who made who, who approached us like came to one of our games like at uh, Sam's house, and Ooh, um, it was the weirdest shit because he kind of like just watched us play a game. And like, like off the side, like, this would make a great show. That's what, he, that's, <laughs> that's what I, he was like. Yeah, we'll do it. And he's like, do I, I'm like, it's so crazy. Um, it is weird having an audience when you play. Cause I've run a game when I was at job Corps for a time. And this was kind of like a farewell one shot I was giving to some of the friends I had there. And as I was just kind of like running it, there would be people that would come out in from their rooms and like, what what's going on here what, what do you mean uh some singing dude uh giving a ted talk had his face shoved into a pile of shit and, <laughs> and then before i knew it we had a, a few people just kind of an actual audience just right there and it's just I feel like i vaguely it, remember this yes it, it was very bizarre i had tried to get you involved in that game like I also remember. Yeah, it was a three point five. Or something yes, like that. It, it was. I there you go. Yeah, and it's about like how we, like a little bit after we met, uh, we played yeah. like a one shot together. I think. Oh uh, yeah, that that was the game where everybody spent like an hour arguing whether or not the uh, armored personnel vehicle was going to be more of like a more military in style or more like the battle shell from the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> and, and me at the time being the only person living not on campus and owning a van. I'm like, guys, you cannot understand how awesome a fucking van is in a post apocalypse <laughs> when the door just slides open and you can just kind of like lean out the side with your gun or sword or whatever. Like guys, sliding doors are the shit. And, and ultimately we settled on the equivalent of the battle shell. That's why. Heroes on a half shell. <laughs> Ninja Turtles. You said it too fast. Oh, sad. <laughs> uh, before we get back to what you were saying, I, I have to know oh, what color do you play? What color do I play? Yeah, magic. What? What? I don't. What does that even mean? 
<laughs> oh, are you talking about, are you talking about MTG? You can just ask people their colors. Yeah, yeah, on. MTG. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm either blue all the way or blue red. Sometimes black. Mm. What color do you rep? <laughs> Sometimes black. Um, How about you, Sam? What do you, what you play? I usually go with the the red, black, green types. Mm. Yeah, the red, black combo. Do you do squirrels? Yeah. Are you a squirrel guy? I, right now, I'm running more of like a like a parasite. Okay. Deck. But you know about the yeah, squirrel. That sounds like something you would do. You're always like trying to. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> you know about the squirrel, right? Like you know the, the green squirrel brigade, like the green squirrel brigade. <laughs> oh, is that the one where they summon like a billion tokens? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Squirrels. Those are crazy. Oh, it's like that. Uh, it's like one of those 1950s movies where they take like an innocuous animal, and by the way, this is the most terrifying thing ever. <laughs> Uh, and I will say mm-hmm. this: I do run a shitty fucking mill deck, so I mill. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> I like those decks. <laughs> I think like decks that play with the graveyard. Yeah, no, stuff like that is always so, fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when I'm feeling yeah, angry, I just I'm run like, a weird bring out my mill deck. <laughs> yeah. Also, I, I just run this weird deck where, like, I just re- recycle my enter the battlefield abilities by just uh, making everything phase in and out of existence. Uh, that, well, that's so, that, that's flicker, a thing flicker, too. Flicker, flicker, uh, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, Jace. Uh, I I would say Jace is my uh, my bay as far as uh, I love counter spells, uh, mm. and, and then ran that a bunch too. Uh, there's, <laughs> but yes, uh, those that those are. My God, I did, but I did. To be fair, I did start off with the white weenie deck. So <laughs> <laughs> I think that's where everybody starts. Like that's yeah. the like what you get. They like they hand you that when you're getting taught how to play. Yeah. Like here, this is the easy one. Use this. Yeah, uh, I I d- and later on I did evolve to making a uh, a uh, avatar last air- airbender deck. Uh, so I just Ooh. made like an all colored one with all element stuff and it was very difficult. That's really cool. It was diff- difficult to play, but when it worked, it was mm. very. I, I've always been like when it comes to card games like Yu Gi Oh and stuff like that. Yeah. If there's like a dragon archetype, mm. that's me. There you go. <laughs> dragons all day. Dragons all day. I like dragons. Well, they had, the, they had the dragon set. There was like a few years ago, they had the dragon set. Like they had a bunch of dragon sets. Yeah. Yeah. So do you have a mm. dragon deck or? I I did a long time oh, ago. Yeah. I'm not too crazy in the magic enough to not be buying cards like that. But no, that's the thing too. <laughs> but Watsy has made it kind of weird to be into magic these past couple of years. Like, yeah, I didn't mind the Autobots uh, being thrown into magic because <laughs> like yeah, that's kind of neat. No, that didn't I, I like Transformers. <laughs> that didn't happen. Not not legit, dude. No, no, no. I, I got a no, no. Are you like are you joking or is that like did that no, actually dude, happen? Like a, I, oh, yeah, that did happen. Oh my God. Uh, let's what? see. Where did I put it? I got like, uh, here's oh one. Oh, it's a foil. I don't know how well that's going to work with a camera. Oh, there. What? Put, what? That, yeah, oh that's the old one too, right? Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, that one is Ultra Magnus. Oh my God. And okay. Well. I got a couple more uh, at hand in here. Okay, RC, that's the girl one. That's the, the you know. Somehow they managed to give a transformer a gender. Oh. Hey, some of them have tits. And, you know that one did, and <laughs> I, I only remember tits. her because of the movie. <laughs> That's his headlights. <laughs> uh, the, the favorite one I have on me is uh, Soundwave because Soundwave is the shit, and y'all can't change my mind. Sure, but you know how familiar you guys are with like Gurren Lagann. But why do those robots have tits? <laughs> that's the thing uh, that more about to have headlights like optimus prime he also has tits so mm. you know we want to get into technicality These little little pasties that they got <laughs> you know there is a transformers tabletop is it really there oh, there sure, is yeah. and sure, yeah, yeah. and it runs off the yeah, same system my brother is uh, utilizing for his power rangers campaign that he's trying to put together the power rangers las vegas Oh yeah, <laughs> was they just? It's been a while since we've uh, heard him talk about that. Yeah, he still hasn't started it, but it's like he's kind of developing it here and there. Uh, I even helped him put together like a, a kind of a rip off of a theme song <clears throat> for it, just because I thought it would be fun. 
dude, I've been watching the new Avatar, and it's got me wanting. Is it like good? A, I haven't seen it Avatar yet. Campaign. I, I, okay, so I was a big fan of the original. So, yeah, like, to me, I like it because it's like we're seeing the same stuff more or less, just in like an updated and really like pretty yeah. way, you know? And I think that's cool in itself. But I know it's not for everybody. Okay, that's how it is. I've seen some of it. When, when, I, look, I, if, I think it's all when right. Somebody says, but it could be better. When somebody says, it's not good for me, You like broke down, <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> yeah. It so starts it starts fucking, looking down, like kind of like I've a little. Been, I've been seeing a lot of uh, people who have like mixed opinions on it. I like it a lot. I'm just saying, if you're not like, this is fucking great. So that's, <laughs> I'm, uh, it's the best thing I'm I've ever saying, seen in my life. Because you know, you know, T Lab is like hard to beat. <laughs> yeah, is you know, in the original, so it's like what like. It's like technically one of the best American anime oh my God. series ever made. Like, what gets me yeah. for like live action things is like I always worry that the creatures, you know, one like piece animals are gonna look fucking weird. Mm. But like the the weird like Avatar animals look really good. I mean that's cool. But like one piece that came out, it. you know, uh, last year that that shit was awesome. Yeah, yeah. she was amazing. Yeah, I like, liked it, and they gave so Kobe nice. a plenty of screen time. It was awesome. It's like, you know what? Uh, I kind of wanted more Kobe. I wanted more Garp, and they had Oda like on hand, be like, "Yo, we're casting these people, and we're gonna cast them as the na- as the nationalities I said they were like five years ago." And it's like, "Yo, we're getting Brazilian Luffy." Fuck yeah, yeah. fuck it. I, it was great. It was fantastic. I love ethnic ethnically correct anime adaption. Yeah, <laughs> like that's where it's at. Like uh when they made Full Metal Alchemist, where they fell <gasps> flat is having a bunch of Asians play these uh, Germanic looking characters. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like if, if there was ever like a Vinland saga like live action or whatever, I feel like they they would do the same thing. Like, they're supposed to be like Nordic, but they would Yeah, be, like if you're going to have a bunch Vinland of white saga, <laughs> these people better look like fucking Vikings, you know. Yeah. Right. That's what that's what I really like about Avatar. Like you're seeing like the the nations that have their like you know nationalities and ethnicities are really showing through the live action. I like that. Great. A lot. I mean, I w- I was really worried that they would all be like, white people. Yeah, no. Like, yeah, they're like, <laughs> oh, yeah. So it's like oh. or like make it or weird M- or like M- they M- did Shyamalan with the uh, the movie. Like, yeah, like yeah, yeah, like with M Night Shyamalan, like he's like. Okay, the Fire Nation, they're all like from India, right? right? It was oh my god. <laughs> and that that was his casting, and I'm just like No. Like, bro. It's like, no, no. You're, you're off by like a few like I don't know how many thousand miles, but you're off. <laughs> right. But he's like You you got the spirit, I guess. No, because no, <laughs> like, he was like And they're all dead. <laughs> they're all dead. See nobody knows this, but they're all dead. Uh he's an idiot, and that was awful. Uh but <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's cool i mean yeah if you're like it's if you, it, i'll check it out I, i've been uh reluctant yeah, I, I recommend okay sure. okay well there you go all right thanks i, I <laughs> definitely can say that the casting is on point mm-hmm. and ever ever since one piece happened like all these that's um, a high marker all I these production so. yeah like they're just like yeah. once it set the standard everyone's like okay we have to start casting things correctly like even the live action yu yu haku show was good was it i haven't heard much about that i watched it with my daughter and my daughter is now in love with yu yu haku show nice hell yeah absolutely all right let's check the time here 40 minutes in uh, sam you want to get us into the monster for this week oh yeah sure so what was it the week before last week we talked about Jin. We did so, talk about gin, uh, not the drink. Now, yeah, <laughs> now is a good time to uh, talk about their cousin. Are you talking about like <laughs> the the gin, the like subset. the the DGIN? Yeah, yeah, like uh, gin, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. The gin, the genies. The gin. Now I'm gonna talk about the ifrit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we talking about ifrit? Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Fire genie. Yeah. So. For a quick description, the Ifrit were humanoid in appearance. They were very tall, generally reaching heights of 12 feet, 3.7 meters, and a massive, solid weighing 2,000 pounds, 910 kilograms. Dude, they were the size of a small titan. <laughs> they're they're oh, yeah. big. <laughs> I didn't realize they were so big. I thought they'd be, like, you know, pretty large, like 
Wait, that, that's actually nine, the. Nine. That's the height of one of the player characters in our current campaign. Aki is. Yeah. She's what, like a half giant? <laughs> yeah, because like uh, half giants are such a big thing in One Piece. Mm -hmm. sure. and then she yeah, decided to go way. half giant like half long leg so like she's big <laughs> but like mostly legs long <laughs> <laughs> when you mentioned a freed like the only thing i think of is final fantasy mm -hmm. but yeah Oh, yeah. yeah right i don't know much about final fantasy but i'm pretty sure he's been in every single one very 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 reminiscent yeah, yeah, yeah. no they, they fall they fall they one thing about uh the all japanese games and in, in Again, I've been in Final Fantasy. I've been in Persona. Like when they have uh, yeah. and and they have these creatures uh, come in, they really follow the historical uh, yes. uh, like uh, uh, background of you know how they look and what they do. And yeah. All that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. So what what do really you want to talk about? This freak? Because I got all day. I, I know how to beat oh. this. Yeah. Shit. I, I I'm, <laughs> going, I'm gonna go deep into the lore. Talk a little bit about Islamic Islamic culture, the city of brass. Kind of give a you know description okay. and an overview of what they are. Yeah. So they were well muscled and had red or black skin that was always burning. For this reason, many resembled devils and were often mistaken for them. Their bodies were supposedly composed of basalt, bronze, and solidified fire. Yeah. Getting into the real world lore here. Ifrit in Islamic mythology and folklore is a class of powerful, malevolent, supernatural, or demonic beings. The exact meaning of the term ifrit is difficult to determine, it does not occur in pre-Islamic poetry, and is only used once in the Quran. Now, we don't really talk about religion here, but for the sake of mythology, everything for a second. <laughs> I'm surprised they show up in the Quran of all. Honestly, they show up at and it makes me think about yeah. how, yeah, it makes me think yeah. about how, like, aliens and stuff are in, like, the Bible. Uh, like, <laughs> dude, like I, I read a little bit of one at one point because I was like curious and like they had an yeah. entire chapter just to be like, yeah, if you if you adopt a kid, don't screw them out of their inheritance. And like, <laughs> that's, the, that's the whole chapter all about dowry rights and inheritance. I'm like, OK, I, I'm starting to see why they are very, uh, very theocratic, because like mm. that's a very business chapter for a religious. <laughs> <thing. Right. laughs> true. true. <laughs> So often when you see uh, the reference to the Ifrit, it's with the phrase, the Ifrit of the Jinn. Right. Where it seems to designate a rebellious member of the Jinn, the phrase recurs in the Hadith, narratives recounting Muhammad's words, actions, or approbations. Arabic philo philos philologists, that's how you say it, not philologists, <laughs> generally <laughs> assigned in the transcontinental root Ifr, to which they attach the meanings rebellious and strong. Okay. Free subsequently came to refer to an entire class of formidable and rebellious beings, being these attributes through the characteristics of an Afrit remain vague and unstable. Kind of like fire. Uh-huh. <laughs> Popular okay, tale so generally it's like the, the uh, very con concept of fire. Exactly, right? They're, okay. they're like the embodiment of you know, the roaring wild yes. flames of creation and destruction. Which is which is why in in, in both uh previous mentioned franchises uh when mm. you summon ifrit he he it's a he shoots a giant ball of fucking fire at you uh there's always nice. fire involved he comes <laughs> he is the fire summons yeah, yeah and now you know talking about ifrit now i i was watching uh reincarnated as a slime like a few weeks ago and they have you know an interaction with someone getting possessed by an ifrit spirit and it's pretty much the same thing like no. embodiment of yes. fire yes true creature of the heat like, yeah. i love it Dude. so popular tale generally depict an enormous winged creature of smoke either male or female who lives underground in frequent ruins if freeds live in a society structured along ancient arab tribal lines complete with kings tribes and clans the uh, afarate are often associated with the underworld and identified with the spirits of the dead and have been compared to evil jenai losi in the european culture mm -hmm. Hmm. In Islamic scriptures, the term ifrit is always followed by the expression of the jinn due to the ambiguous meaning of the term jinn, which is applied to a wide range of different spirits. Their relation towards the genus of jinn remains vague. It's kind of like uh, during our jinn episode, I talked a little bit about genies, a little bit about ifrit, how they're similar, but not quite the same. There's a few distinctive, you know, denominations. 
I did kind However, of latch on to one thing you said there, Sam, yeah. with the male and female uh, Ifri wow. and like always being like these beings of fire or smoke or something. Just mm. like, could you just imagine just being, you know, going about your day and then you just see this giant plume of fire? Like, guys, is it just me or does that fire have tits? <laughs> uh, yeah, no. look, we, we've all played Skyrim. <laughs> no matter how many fire resist potions you got. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Do not fuck the flame agent. Okay. <laughs> General rule of thumb. Yeah. In the Quran itself, such an Afrit is mentioned in Quran 23, 27, 38, 40. The Afrit offers to carry the throne of Bilquis, the queen of Sheba, to King Solomon. An Afrit from the jinn said, I will bring it to you before you rise from your place. And verily, I am indeed strong and trustworthy for such work. However, the duty is not given to him, but to somebody who is endowed with knowledge of the scripture. Hmm. All of that to say, I believe the, the jinn didn't really <laughs> believe in the, the beliefs of, you know, the Quran and King Solomon and all that. They were kind of their own, you know. Yeah, like uh, they seem to just exist beyond, like they're mm-hmm. kind of like have their foot in like all kinds of... Uh, and a little bit of everything, because like yeah. almost celestial, kind of fey, kind of devilish, uh, a, a very elemental. Like a, they're embodying like a lot of different aspects all in one creature. That like yeah. I I know that they're elementals, but like they're they got a lot of bases covered. Yeah, here. but I think I think they, oh, yeah. the big thing with the Afri, uh is uh, in uh, in a gaming sense they are always strong and noble. Like you can call mm-hmm. upon them. Uh, because, yeah. uh, you know, it's that don't judge a book by its cover and this fucking mm-hmm. book will burn you to fucking hell. So like, like right. and, you know, no matter their that. place, while well, they have this chaotic exactly. nature, they are generally yes. good or evil. It can be and, and evil. they, and they act as it's, such, right? So it's, it's yeah. like El Tigre. Right. <laughs> exactly. Like El Tigre. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Evil. Well, we'll have to wait and <laughs> see. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So now what is is this? You get you gave the definition. Am I supposed to tell you how to beat this creature? Not quite yet. I can. Get <laughs> oh, that, that is a thing. Okay. Yeah. So next up, I'm going to go over the Forgotten Realms information in the world. Okay. So the Afri were a type of genie, native to the ele- ele- elemental plane of fire. They were unpredictable creatures with fiery, smoky forms, a protect- spectacular proficiency in elemental and non-elemental arcana. Mm-hmm. Talking about the city of Brass here, floating amid the elemental plane of fire, the city of Brass was the epicenter of a free culture and was the place from which the Sultan of the Afri ruled. Hmm. Considered the oldest city in all creation, the city of Brass has been long known as the hub for planar travelers and trade. Prior to the Dawn War, it was part of the vast empire of the Wind Dukes of Akbar. Or Akbar. Ak- Ak- <laughs> <laughs> they got words. You no, know, it, it's very funny that you said that. Um, <laughs> uh, about them you know having such a root in different cultures considering their you know city is like a hub for travel and yeah. trade which i think is really fucking cool yeah so over the years the city of brass was subjected to a number of attacks from outsiders one notable occasion was when an archmage by the name of Tzunk attempted to conquer the city of brass with the help of a potent artifact called the Codex of Infinite Planes. Even with the powerful tome, he could not best the four million Ifrit that protected the city and was eventually defeated and bound before the Sultan. Arguably, the city's first notable defense was its uncanny ability to float above and away from most threats. However, the city was still susceptible to flying intruders crossing its walls. The guards did not take such attempts lightly. And while I was reading about these soldiers, I thought it fun to quote the legions of the Afrit army, <laughs> just to kind of give you an idea what what that's actually like. So the armed forces of the city of Brass dwarfed the large armies of Faerun and came in a bizarre array of legions. So first up we have the Unquenchable, 3,000 hmm. elite and fanatical Afrit guards. We have the Eternal Crimson, 100,000 common Afrit soldiers. The Alls, all Asaf, 25,000 horse archers and lancers. We have the Angels of Death, 35,000 Afrit archers. The Striders, 10,000 dragoons. 
the Black Eagles, 3,000 Johnny Soldiers, Black Darts, 2,000 Man Scorpion Slave Soldiers. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> we got the Bronze Phalanx, 1,200 Azer Siege Engineers. We got the First Lancers, 1,000 Notable of Free Cavalry. Sorry, Noble of Free Cavalry. We have the Order of the Fiery Heart, 500 Griffin Mounted of Free Nobles. We have the Watchfire Legions, 40,000 of Freed Irregulars. Not really sure what that means, but that sounds cool. We have the Illuminated, 50,000 Sadie Guards. <laughs> the Sultan's Own, 4,000 Salamander Skirmishers. We have the Branded, 150 of Freed Mom Looks. Not sure what that means. And in addition to these considerable forces, a colossal navy of 18,000 individuals crewed the Sultan's personal fleet. So do not fuck with the city of Brass, <laughs> basically. I last guess but not so. least, I'll go ahead and get into the stats and abilities of the common and free. So looking at their stats, they have a strength of 22, a dexterity of 12, constitution of 24, intelligence of 16, wisdom of 15, and charisma of 16, being a normal CR of about 11. Getting to the first ability here, we have Elemental Demise. If the Afrit dies, its body disintegrates in a flash of fire and puff of smoke, leaving behind only equipment the Afrit was wearing or carrying. So, no hmm. Afrit dust, you know, or blood or anything for you to harvest. <laughs> we have Innate Spellcasting. The Afrit's Innate Spellcasting ability is Charisma, with a spell save DC of 15. It can innately cast the following spells requiring no material components. We have at will detect magic three times a day in large reduce and tongues and once a day conjure elemental fire elemental only gaseous form invisibility major image plane shift and wall of fire mm. you know all the classics the greatest yeah. hits uh, you know <laughs> yeah what more could you want from the hottest boy in the realm sorry <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, now that I've kind of gone over everything, we do transition to our IRL fight score. So, question for the Orions. Yes. <laughs> you think you could take one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I like the confidence. I like the confidence. Always. I, I, I want to hear this because, like, yeah. I, I always love the creative ways that people are like, okay, uh, how would I fight this? Because, like, usually my IRL fight score. Uh, ideas come down to okay maybe i can if i'm like a little bit of prep time i could ram it with my with a car <laughs> run it over that's all it <clears throat> it's quite easy if you think about it for just a second it's not that hard <laughs> the point is when you're prepared you can do whatever you want to do this is what sorcerers do it is not hard whatsoever if you have friends, you can do it easily. If you're by yourself, you can still execute. So, what I would say. I feel emboldened. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody might want to. I'd like to point out that like uh, he has not lost his touch with that voice. That was really oh, no, good. No, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tiberius is <laughs> always, he's, again, part of me. And he is part. <laughs> it's always. He is me. It's always easy. If you have the help. If you know the, the, the know it all. To what you're about to do. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> I fucked around a lot when it came to like campaigns and stuff. Uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm just going to speak to this real quick. Uh, uh, for the Critical Role people who are listening to this who <laughs> uh we had this game going for a while and i really love the ire of people like he said this to her he did a half chub joke oh <laughs> as Grab if no one ever made a dick head. joke in a game i'm like it's because <laughs> they've heard the same joke over and over and over this is before this, yeah. is, this is before it was a show and i i i i love that ire we're like he's a how could he say that i'm like 
I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> the only reason that they don't like it is because they've heard it like a hundred fucking times. Like, and that was because it was <laughs> private because it was not a show at first. But I still, I, yeah. I kind of figured that because no. like, from what little I did see, like getting uh, into the first campaign from like my first uh, trying to get into Critical Role as the whole, like I ended up uh, really liking the third uh, campaign but that that's a separate uh-huh. thing altogether but it just seems like uh one of those things that you're transitioning from a home game and into this whole new thing and yeah. even at that point like uh over 20 episodes in weekly show that's still like how many months like this <laughs> is a few months into uh, that's it's only been a few months by that point there was there was that you've been doing this thing that that was at home for over a year yeah yeah, yeah. and, and no, there, there were like that mental separation does not happen there there, you know? were, there was uh few conversations of like i was like i don't want to stop this bit and me and matt would he'd be like it sucks it doesn't work for <laughs> it doesn't work for the public i'm like yeah but it's like by bit and he's like i get it <laughs> it's like we get it but it, it's like it's not a show thing. I'm like I don't ca- I don't care. He's like, I know, <laughs> but you understand <laughs> this is like a different thing. I'm like yeah I I know, but it, this is my bit. Like this like I, like create I, differences. I, it, it it, it, you know it's fine. He was right and 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 uh and I was right. That's kind of the thing. Yeah. There, there's integrity to be had when you're doing something in your life. Mm. When you're playing a game. When you're working a job integrity is primus right and when we were doing this and we were having fun i'm like i'm not gonna stop doing the fun bit and when people watch these episodes they're like i can't believe he would do i'm like you don't fucking know (laughs) how many times these assholes have fucking heard this same stupid joke a hundred fucking times that's why they're reacting that and I'm like, and I, yeah. I, I kept telling him like, and he's like, he's like, you understand? Like, he's like hundreds of thousands of people are watching us. Or I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. I'm like, I'm going to still it, do. You know, the fun, it, it's the funny thing about all that is Critical Role is credited with bringing tons of new players into the <laughs> hobby. So people that haven't played That's D&D before <laughs> are just like, oh, hey, wait a minute. No, this is a. Uh, no. That's a little they, weird. They, they spun it the right way. Like they they did it, and that's you know why they're doing their thing. And I was just I refused, and I was like, no, I'm like this is fucking funny. This is our game, and I kept saying that this is our game, so I'm gonna do yeah. the same shit that I've done. Uh, so, mm. so it's the whole like you don't want to change just for the scene. Yeah, and it was a mistake, uh, of course, of course. <laughs> Uh, but 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 the, to to credit both the the uh, you know how to approach uh, a game that way right how to work a game you know and stuff I I still kept up the same bits uh, because I just didn't want to change the bits uh, uh, I, I I I I stand by what Robin Williams said um, who I love and he was like comedy is what you are. You know, um, and, and, and that's, and that's, I thought those things were funny and it's, it's just a, a, a weird thing. So when we talk about, I'll bring it back to, uh, uh, Sam, uh, and the, if right. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, what coming full, full circle. circle, full circle. Um, <laughs> but, uh, when, when we talk, when I talk about that, it, it reminds me of, um, this campaign when this was a private campaign by the way so this is like before the show right and we had this boss right. that mercer threw at us and uh i i went bonkers like uh, uh the, the, like uh there was like a pit we had to like climb up to that was like uh, like a like there was a rope and there was like you know like 50 feet or 100 feet up or whatever we had to like climb into this thing and this when we when we all climbed up uh i or no uh 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 uh, travis was attacked by this like gigantic monster and fell like 
a hundred feet down, right? And uh, right. all of us were up at that center of where the boss fight was supposed to be, but Travis did a thing where, uh, oh no, yeah, yeah. Travis did a thing where, where he confronted the monster and so he was like uh, attacked and like was thrown down from where we were. It was like this weird well thing. And I was like, fuck this. I did like a Neo in the Matrix dive, <laughs> dive down the well. I'm like, I'm saving him right now. Uh, and fucking dove down. I'm like, fuck this. And everyone's like, what is happening right now? And again, th this is not what people have seen, right? This is like us being homies. Uh, and and yeah. I was like, no. And I like dove down and uh, Tiberius, I, I, I had to do this like, uh, what is that? Uh, God, what's that spell? Uh, not, it's not fly. It's like float or fart. Featherfall? Featherfall, uh, thank featherfall. you. Thank yeah. you, yes. So I, I had to like cast Featherfall, but he gave me, I had to roll a dice like to make this Featherfall work because he's like, you're doing a Neo dive right now. Like, like I'm just going down. He's like, Featherfall roll. And Mercer was so, <laughs> so good at like, again, making every player comfortable in their decisions, right? which I think is, is, is a great thing to think about with, you know, all you nerds listening is, is that he, he made, he made this thing where he's like, okay, you're going to do this. Fuck you. Let's see how the dice works. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, all right. All right. Asshole. Go ahead. Do that. And, and I did it and I fucking passed and, hey, and you. Uh, I managed to feather fall land, save Travis, fucking beat the shit out of the fucker who was uh attacking him and save him and it, it, because his turn he went like rage mode and just fucking finished everything because it was it was awesome in typical grog fashion grog you know? <laughs> every day every day baby uh but but, mm. but that was that was the thing that that worked best in these situations and i think in Every situation, when you're, you know, and I'll going back to Sam, when we're talking about a fritz, right, and how to, to deal with that, it's it's what do you have in hand? Like, who is your who is your party? Mm. What are you dealing with? True. Like, do you have somebody that can deal with these things? Do you have somebody you know in your party that can understand what it is, how to deal with it? And then how to deal with it. Like, like, cause I think there's right. like a two tier step when it, when it comes to those, those things. And when we talk about all these, uh, mechanics in gameplay, right. It, it, it's a thing where a lot of people don't understand. You, you have to have someone who knows to allow you to do the things that you want to do or not yeah right? um sure. and so yeah. so like, bare minimum there's got to be a chance yeah even slim that's fantastic give give, give me a little bit of a, a wiggle room as they say uh to yeah. to go ahead and do that and uh and they they were fan fantastic in, in that sense and when we're talking about the uh uh a free uh or a free tea depending on where you're at, uh, like those uh, creatures, I would say, either you are an alliance to them or you are mm -hmm. fighting them or you are controlling them. So there's there's a difference. And it, depending on what class that you pick on how you do these things, I think that's a has a big influence on all that stuff. I would definitely agree. That's, that's my comment mm. to, to that. Let's say as you are normal person and all, and a freak shows up in your house, puff of flame. He's like, hey, run them hands. Oh, <laughs> that's easy peasy. You, 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 you summon Shiva, right? And ah, that's what you do. <laughs> the Uno reverse She's going to fucking ice his ass 
real quick. Like it's it's that's that's how that works. But that's again in the uh, mm. Final Fantasy world. I, I mean, in the D and D world, it, you 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 need to uh, uh, make sure you always have a safe place. And this is coming from a sorcerer, so I don't know what class mm. people play, and that's cool. Whatever, I don't actually fucking care. But as I'm I'm a sorcerer through and through, <laughs> through and through, and I know all those things. So Mystic Step, mm. get Mystic Step straight up. You don't fuck around and not have Mystic Step. You got to do the damage and get the hell out on your out turn. Uh, uh, so, so you do that. Um, prep yourself with elemental stuff. Like if, 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 if there's a thing that you can prep, because there is, and you all know this, so yeah. you can do that. And, and it, it's prep, get the hell out and get the hell away uh, and do damage, 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 damage from afar. Mm -hmm. The the the, oh, the one thing that uh, which and I'll speak to Critical Role again, uh, which 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 there was there was a discussion. I asked, I'm like, what's the diameter of my fireball? Like, and and it wasn't, and he didn't quite get it that time. Point for me, but <laughs> but he didn't get the <laughs> diameter versus like, go and look at it. Oh. This, this this is the bait. So go go find those episodes. Mm. Uh, but but this is where I was like, okay, so like uh like the diameter of the fireball, like as it's being cast, versus uh, the diameter of exactly. explosion. So 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 yeah. it, it, it's a thing of like who damages what and how it damages you know, all that stuff. Uh, be careful of that, but do it. Uh, I always suggest yeah. hashtag fireball. So there's they like. Oh, <laughs> always, always. If you're a sorcerer, go and do that. Nine out of ten wizards would agree. I don't want to imagine uh, that you want to use fire against them. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, it, it still works. It doesn't heal them. I mean, fire fights fire. Heal, but, I mean, but then yeah. you, have, you have the... That is true. You know, Maybe he'll see it as like a power move and like be like, you know what? I respect that. It's, it's like how Sukuna pulled out the fire arrow against the flint, the, the damn volcano. That's the thing, curse. That's the thing Sam. Yeah. That's where counter works. Oh. You hold your yeah. counter. True. Counter spell. That's so true. Which has. <laughs> he was like, oh, really? We're going fire. Well, here's and the fire? thing, too. Okay. I had a bunch of weird <laughs> shit that Pathfinder allowed me to have during that campaign like like i had the krull you know blade from the movie krull uh and i know you're too young to to know that uh that <laughs> i i swear I to god like I if am. you're not then <laughs> god bless your bathing techniques um <laughs> the secret to youth is bathing just saying, techniques. Just saying. <laughs> if you're older than me, Black then shut crack, up. Man. But if you know what crawl is, it's this cool ass fucking thing. I put it I put it in the show uh where um I got a lot of shit when I was on Critical Role <laughs> for killing an old lady <laughs> with with his <laughs> crawl blade. I threw <laughs> slice her fucking oh shit open God. and people were like what the fuck <laughs> killing old people is pretty no, standard no, D, &D no, no, practice no. she attacked us first that's ah that's... i see uh, i'm just saying from personal experience are we like, equal uh, or not you know are men and women equal or not <laughs> If we are, then fucking hell. I she shot fire. For, she was Greedo. Okay. Look, man, I I'm on the Kazuma side of equality. I'm saying, I'm saying she attacked us first, and I threw a crow blade at her face, and everyone's like, "What the fuck?" Um, you think just because it's an old lady? I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm not. not gonna, like... but, of course, <laughs> of course. What like what the if who cares? which is it's a running gag actually which, which i really love for all my <laughs> friends out there by the way i love you so much but it, like they're like like dude like why i'm like greedo shot first greedo shot first greedo shot first, <laughs> greedo shot first. Like, what the fuck are you talking about like, what are you gonna do 
<laughs> it's the classic I'm at saying, that point. Uh, that's what that was. But uh, again, it was an atmosphere where that was allowed to happen. And it was super fun. Right, mm. right. You know, like. I imagine now if I was watching like a critical role stream and like Liam just starts bodying an old person. Actually, can, can, I, can I can I talk real quick about my my favorite? I know we Orion, oh, we didn't talk about this before, but can I talk about my favorite uh, uh, moment in in the show? Yeah, yeah. Is that okay? With, is that yeah, I was actually going to ask about that. <laughs> so go right ahead. Like you're saving me time on a bunch uh, of questions. Sam, is that cool with you? Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, my my favorite point in time in in that show is when we it was the first year Geek and Sundry and I did this uh item item math and it was with Sam Regal and I love him to death. Um and it was about an item that he had that I should have had. And I mm. this was live it's you can find it somewhere. And I was like so you've you you've used this item zero times. I could use this item every single time, every time, every time. And <laughs> I, I did this like this like I, I won't do the whole thing, but like I, I I broke down this like this item math and like it's one of my favorite memories that I can die with. And I'm I'm not even joking. Like like everyone. Everyone was fucking dying, you know, laughing like because <laughs> even Sammy, he's like, he's like, you motherfucker. He's like, he's like, and 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 I, I, I'm from UCB, uh, Upright Citizen Brigade. I, I've improv. He's from UCB as well. He's in Second City. This is th these are uh, improv institutions and that we've studied under, um, and. Yeah, I'm actually familiar with yeah. UCB because I've listened to some podcasters that have uh, gone yeah. through there uh, as well. I've never um, heard. Of yeah, it. well, you, 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 you sh are you? If you're in LA, come over to have a visit. Oh, hey. mm, if I ever go to LA, I'm definitely yeah. checking yeah, that out because, like, you know, kind of get these skills yeah, it, it, up. I, I am subpar, so I want to be. Uh, at yeah, it, no, every every show that you've like seen, like in the last like 15 years, like uh, it has been heralded by these people like uh you know 30 rock uh, i mean i mean it, it, amy poehler tina fey uh all, all these mm -hmm. the, like like they're the founders of ucb like um and they're, they're like the gods of comedy um and uh, uh i can i i'm we don't have time for me to name all these people but 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 most of the people that you watch now, they're either writers on it or they're actors on it, and they come from there. Uh, Second City was like really cool. key. Uh, Groundlings was like really great in the '90s, but they do more character-based stuff, like Chris Farley, which you know, mm. rest in peace. Um, but that doesn't work anymore for comedy now, and we all know that. Um, but but uh, these these wonderful people, uh, I, I I know. And I've been trained by great people. Uh, Eugene Cordero, uh, mm. who's on a few, he was on Loki. He's on a couple of things. He, he, he was my first teacher um, uh, doing UCB, and he, he he's incredible. Um, along with several other people, uh, Josh Simpson. Like they're, they're they're just a lot of great people who have been here who showed me to just be like, hey, fuck it, right? Like. Fuck it, just right. go and do. Um, and, 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 and most of the time, that's like what we all have to do, right? Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry, I lost my track. The fight, the fight, <laughs> the fight, the fight. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> wait, wait, when we went back to it, uh, you know, I, I just kind of use all the shit that i could use and uh the fight it was it was just so much fun like like it, it, it wasn't about um numbers or about what's going on it was about allowance you know from a dm mm -hmm. to a gamer right when it, and, and i'm bringing it back to the the D, &D side of stuff uh of of like how things can work 
and why things can work right and uh mm-hmm. and they were all just so wonderful about that um i uh of course took extreme advantage about all of these things so <laughs> Of course, naturally. <laughs> <laughs> so that that was. Uh, I like mean, you do. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Uh, it, it, like, I think the funniest thing about um, uh, what's happened over the years is, yeah, because of social media and all the stuff, where it was a very mm-hmm. private thing to a very public thing. Um, and uh, yeah, that was a dramatic shift uh because i was going through a lot of personal stuff that i've overcome uh they were going through a lot of legal stuff that we all overcame i don't know if that's proper term but 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 probably not the legalese term yeah. like uh, they they got they got all kind of t- <laughs> sure. terms and like we have to hire yeah. a translator yeah. it's called a lawyer you know, latin yeah you don't have uh, one of those here but you know, <laughs> don't tell them sam <laughs> but that's the thing though. they're all like like with everything i've just talked about they're all you know really good people um and mm-hmm. uh and i just didn't want to or couldn't uh, at the time, like follow in line. I think the thing with, uh, and I'm going, I'm, I'm going way back by the way. So this is like a long walk just so you, if you already know, Ryan, mm. God, it's so weird saying that. Uh, <laughs> it's so weird I know, right? fucking saying that shit, <laughs> <laughs> but taking a, a way long, what, what, <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, dude. Me and my buddy Plank here are all buckled up for the walk. Fit in perfectly already. <laughs> but it, you know, the, Seb, <laughs> see, this is why you need to fucking yeah. watch Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Point is, Sam, Plank says you should oh, watch it. Lord of the Rings. I, I mean. Look, girlfriend asked me if I would watch it with her. I already gave just, her the yeah. So we're gonna sit do it. Side for two weeks to watch. Do it. Those you movies. need, yeah, you need like two weeks. It's okay. Uh, but no, like you know, going back to that and, and uh, to what th- what you asked earlier, it's uh, it's a thing where something happens with friends and with with this whole process. It, be- it becomes something else. Um, uh, hmm. I'm friends with a couple of them uh, still, and 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 and, I, and I love them. Uh, I wish nothing but love to them. Um, and it's a lot of business versus people. Uh, so. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like it sucks to see those kind of things kind of uh, happen, but you know that's just the way of the world at these at time, you know. Yeah, when you when you turn something that was personal into something that's now like open to the public, it's it's hard to keep that like together. Yeah, Orion, oh, right, sorry, I, that was like a question yeah. you asked me like twenty minutes earlier, and I finished. It. Oh yeah. no! Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, no! Dude. Worries, dude. Ben's awesome. It, it, it's, the, it's the whole thing. Like, um, um, but yeah, it, it all comes around. Like that's the cool thing with this show is that we go off on tangents all the time, and like that's one thing that you got right here because mm-hmm. you, when you go off on a tangent, eventually we come all the way back around. Just like you know, a, when you're doing your home game, yeah, everyone's like, "Oh, hey, a joke about this," and then next thing you know, we've gone a full twenty minutes talking about Whoa. Twinkies. <laughs> That's why, like, I love oh, doing this one because it really does feel like we're just sitting at a table, like in the middle of a game, like yeah. <laughs> chewing the shit. Just chewing the <laughs> shit. Okay. Like, and it's, okay. it's Next question, nice. and that's just I enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And I feel like you know now would be probably a good time to segue into the news. Uh, you know what? I do have a little bit of nerd news, news for this Ooh. week, so I'll. Yeah, we'll be we, here listening we get the 
News <laughs> and homebrew. <laughs> that's a that's a Jay Z song. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys heard the little stinger that time. <laughs> news and home rules. We got to do the news. Mo- like, oh, come on. This time on Nerd News. <laughs> <laughs> so, sticking in the uh, realm of critical role, mm-hmm. I don't know if I, y'all know this, but recently, last night on Twitter, like Matt Mercer put out a couple little. Uh, tweet videos just letting the fans know that he's taking a step back from social media due to uh, feeling kind of depressed and a lot of social pressure over these past few years oh my god i can i can only imagine because like i remember when all the you know wizard of the coast stuff was going on and like D D beyond and they were like that's contractual really say anything yeah I would I'm imagine you, so. It's no, just no, like no. people no, put so much pressure. pressure on them to, it's to come up with statements. <laughs> yeah. Like they, they wanted to stand with, you know, the community and the people, but they're like, we're literally under like the Yeah. Thing. Like they had their thing going on and the community's like, why won't you mm-hmm. say something? Uh, I don't know. It's almost like there's uh-huh. business it's going on. It's almost like, oh my God, we can't make more money. <laughs> Yeah, it's wink, like, you wink. know, you, you I don't gotta know, keep like, things, like, like, <laughs> it's one of those things where everyone, like, you know what's going on, so, so don't be rough about it, don't go harassing the, the people that entertain yeah, you, yeah, you of know? Course, of course not, but they have, like, oh, you know, see, a multi-million dollar deal with the things that he was writing stuff for. Like, it, 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 it's, I, I, I won't, I won't stand for this. This is this is theater I won't stand for. Mm. So if, if I can speak to this, this is something where mm. they had a really nice fucking spot, right? I got hurt by that spot. Yeah, I am bitter mm. by that spot, and because of Wizards of the Coast, because they fucked it up so much, they're hurt by that spot. So their multi-million shit mm-hmm. is getting hurt by that spot. So they are pulling out much like a lot of people should when they shouldn't have kids what i'm saying is that this is not a thing where it's not coincidental i don't believe in coincidence there mm-hmm. it doesn't exist yeah ever so so so, so there isn't and anybody who's yeah thinking about this i don't care how much you like yeah but you're a fucking dick yeah i am a fucking dick whoever you comment, fuck you. I don't care. <laughs> fuck you. But the truth. To, to, to be fair to the commenters, which Orion? The first one. Well, <laughs> I'm older. He's younger. The first one. He's got seniority on me, Sam. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, junior over here. here. So not not homeboy. He, he, he's younger. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that it's. Fuck yeah. He's like the, he's like the Jesus saying, of Orion. I am. <laughs> I might. I, I just might be. I just might be. Oh my God. The, one the Orion. True Orion. The, the Council yeah. of Orions have long since talked about the Orion Messiah that can absorb no. all the hate well, of no. the internet. Every, every, one every Orion single. Uh, so second Orion. There's. A... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Orion I had to do it once. <laughs> it's Orion two Orion electric Jr. boogaloo. The, no, the, yeah. and Sam. Dear Sam. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, this is all opportunist fucking business. It's mm-hmm. pulling yourself away yeah. from shit that makes you look bad. They've done this for years, every fucking time. I can give you a list of people that have been in the media who have been me too and blah, 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 that they've pulled away from instantly mm-hmm. because they know them and I know them and fucking everybody knows each other and we all know that we're all pieces of shit. Like it's, it's not, it's not fucking goddamn science. Like this is, this is rudimentary math. One plus one equals like, like, (laughs) I feel feel that in, in this culture we have going on today, such a, such a social media, you know, yeah. Like everyone demands a, like you have to have a political stance on everything. It's like, you don't, you actually don't. Like if if someone comes at the nerd militia here, like, Hey, what's your stance on X, Y, and Z? We don't have a stance. We have a bunch of people that are all incorporated into our little crew here. 
they all, all have people. different opinions. Not so like, guess real, what? like real people. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> the thing. We're all people at the end of the day. People get like these celebrity, like fucking, what are, what are they called? Like, uh, e celebrity? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. What's, uh, what's human the being. Word I'm looking for here. Were they, I mean, yeah. I mean, <laughs> they, they treat these like celebrities human like they're not even people. Right. Yeah, it's because they become a yeah. construct in your humans. mind, you know. Right. Like, mm-hmm. and it, we're it's all really, people. We're all just trying to do our own. Yeah, shit. like like you're saying, like it's important to remember that these uh, famous people they are still Human people, beings. and yeah. it's like, like just let them. Like they don't need to come out and have a stance on all these things. Mm-hmm. And like Matt's been getting blasted on the internet just for the whole like because uh, <laughs> the fans demanded a stance on the Israel Palestine. And then uh, after, um, oh yeah, that that's part of what, what that, led to this. Wait, that's wait, the thing on, when you I'm have sorry. something that's like that big in the media, they they're gonna want you to like speak on it because they're like you have a voice, you should use this voice. To, yeah, that's part of the video that he uh, came out with last night. Uh, <laughs> where like uh, there was a lot of harassment online due to uh, like it started as like Critical Role was being pressured by uh, a, a bunch of people in the fan base. Like, hey, uh, where do you stand on all this stuff? And then just they're like, okay, well, oh, uh, um, we, we I guess we have to say it. something. Oh, and then they do <laughs> spend the next month being right. blasted about it. And then, like, Matt's kind of, like, shouldering all of this. And it's just like, dude, that is a whole no, it's, lot it's, to it's, bear it's, in it's, addition it's actually, to you all know the... I would, I would, it, I would say I would already disagree. doing, you know? Uh, it, it's a really fucking easy yeah. choice. And the fact that because uh, how I know him and what they've done and mm. uh, I mean, even with... I mean, there's been countless... Uh, not countless. There's been, like, four... <laughs> There's been there, there's been a few occasions where somebody that they know very closely has come under fire and they just distance themselves, fucking like a hundred percent because they don't want to. I mean, yeah, that's they don't want to the hurt thing. the brand. They gotta, they gotta think about like they don't want to hurt the brand. Yeah, they're they're fucking. They don't want the brand. Model. They're like mm. they want they want to stay alive and stay relevant. Yeah, they no, it, like it's not even that. that. They'll they yeah, they will kind of like st- take a step yeah, out Sam, of the ring, right. you know. They, they, just, they, they, they they do that they don't want to hurt their like ultimate brand right so so they they're like oh we this guy that i like i fucking par- i personally parted with like blah, blah, blah. i'm not naming names because of law but like the but but like when i'm like right. oh you step away from this person that person that person that person who's been like me too or fucking all this other shit or th- this fucking this mm-hmm. policy that policy and they're like we don't want to do this this and this it, it's very carefully calculated and it's not kosher uh 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 uh, yeah. uh mazel to all my jew friends but the um but, but <laughs> it, it isn't you know they do it for business they do it because they know that it can hurt the brand and quite frankly it's respectable mm-hmm. on a business sense right so 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 you have to respect right. that because that's what businesses do this is what businesses do. Mm-hmm. This is how it works. And that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. You don't want to hurt your brand. You don't want to hurt your business. That's how it fucking works. But however, morally, no. They've never done the moral thing. When I needed help, and I'm going to get, uh, how about this? I'll get into personal shit. You know, uh, what was that like? Uh, what year is this? <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Current what year. year is this? Uh, no, but like in 20, you know, 15, right? Like when I was going, because, 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 oh, yes. you know, I, I was, uh, you know, and here, here's a heavy hitter thing, fuckers, not you guys, but the listeners. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do refer but, to myself as. What do you say for people? <laughs> you know, like, you know, uh, I fell into to, to drugs. I, 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 I had a record of, of, uh, doing shitty drugs for like at least three years before I got my fucking head out of my ass. And, uh, it, it, uh damn, you need to, yeah, I, oh, absolutely. Stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> and, the, uh, and, and all the ass was amazing. But, but what I'm saying is that like the, what I'm saying is that like, I, I, I got into a dark hole because of the success. And I don't talk about this often because I don't get a chance to, but, um, what, what I went through then I experienced a thing where, I lost myself for a second and uh, uh, 
and mm. they knew about it. And this is this is where the crux of all this happens, where it was like, what's best for the brand versus what's best for the people, right? And uh, mm. and, and I had to go, you know, that 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 that's what that was. Um, and I'm and I'm still kind of in that position, but not really. Like I've done okay, but you know I, I'm still working. I've done yeah. a bunch of work and all that stuff since. But but the, the thing with them is that they're always concentrated on the brand, and uh, that is something that they're doing now. And you're seeing what what you just told me is really a, a, a justification of what I've. Mm -hmm. been through because you you're seeing it through the public eye yeah. i know it from a private eye yeah so so, so uh, personally, personally thank you very much yeah. but 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 that yeah. but, but but that's that's the difference so so what you're saying is truth and, and that's the important thing where people can be like oh mm -hmm. we we don't know this guy. He, they're, they're they're donald trumping shit like oh they, they, so like, oh, we never knew that this guy like raped all these girls. We never knew like like they've done it like a bunch where they just distance. And again, I can't say names, but they they distance themselves whenever something has been fucked up. The only reason that I'm speaking now is because I can. Right. So so what I'm saying is that uh, w without putting any other people's uh, legal jeopardy, you know, into production they that's what they do right and that's what they still do so this whole i'm stepping away from social media like that's fucking bullshit it's like why why would you do that if everything was fine like if everything was fucking fine like mm -hmm. I, I get fucking sh hate all the time on social media and i'm still fucking on there so fuck you guys like yeah <laughs> so I'm, I mean, I'm, 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 like, I'm like i don't care how shitty my shit is i'm not walking away because everything i've said and i've put out there is true and <laughs> and even even with even with the lies between us because there are which is an important factor to make mm. right i lied to them they lied to me it's a whole fucking thing but i can't speak to that we're all human you know, yeah. people being people people being yeah. people 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 right i won't walk away <laughs> i won't walk away from it <laughs> because of these issues it's a simple fucking issue right you you address it as is, mm. and you do what you need to fucking do. Be like, this is wrong. This is right. Mm. Wrong and right is fucking right in your face, right? Where 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 people are exposed and vulnerable mm -hmm. and, and need help and all these fucking things that are bigger than ourselves. Th th like with the issue that you're talking about, Orion and Sam. Like the 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 to have the wherewithal to just be like, no, this is fucking bullshit. It's an easy fucking answer. Mm -hmm. Just take the fucking answer. True. It, There's always that yeah. that fear of like, oh, what, what if what if they get they don't like that's this being, answer and they fucking exactly. stop yeah, watching? That's being a blah, 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 blah. Like, uh, There's always going to be diehard people in your audience. Like yeah. it's really hard to kill a that, brand that's what if I'm you're saying. big like, enough. They won't. That's why they know they can take a step back. Facts. They can turtle up. That's like a a, a term. You know, like mm -hmm. you just go in your shell and. Like, mm. vroom, we're, we're, we don't know. We don't. We, we... It, it's a solid strat. And like, I'm hoping that we don't end up like, a, like a, our whole thing with the nerd militia is just, it's up and coming. We're, we're nowhere near the size of anything uh, prolific, like critical role. You might be though. And we're hoping like, if things do, no, oh, we That's very well might point. be. And if things do turn out uh, to be successful in some degree, I kind of rely on the people that I have in my circle now. Like I've had conversations individually where it's just like, you have to hold me accountable. Like mm -hmm. this, this is non-negotiable. Like if I start fucking up and doing uh, shit, I, I got to rely on uh, my buddy Matthew and Sam here to be like, hey, call me out and mm -hmm. keep you got to keep the path so that we're not like going into the realm of catering to a right. the, the, 
the mindless cabal of people out there that are just like, hey, you you have to have a thing for this, this. Oh, it's, we got to cancel that person. Integrity, right? Push like, them out you there. have to. We know what we did this for, why we're doing this, and like what our stance is on whatever it is. And it's like, yeah, we're we're not going to be anything but ourselves no, when it's recorded. I'm, I'm saying but the thing so is like, that it is. <laughs> The, the, the thing is, uh, like, you, you guys have that, right? Like, the whole time yeah. when when we were doing stuff, like, I would say, Marisha, who I, my heart, I, I love her to death. Uh, she was the only one to do what you guys are talking about. She was the only one to be like, hey, get your shit together. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, like, uh, and, and she's, she's a, a fucking gem. And, uh, yeah. And, and and you know honestly like again i would say all of, most of those people are just amazing right like I, 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 ashley is incredible uh sam i fucking love sam to death uh liam he was liam's liam's liam. I mean, imagine I'm sorry, not to cut you off, but imagine if this uh, this episode is the one that somehow reaches. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that so. would be crazy, <laughs> dude! I just like being able to hear that uh, some of the people I'm loving the side. I like being able to hear that people behind the critical role, like that, so many people look up to, are you know, real people. Bro, you know, like, real people. I got fun stories, to be man. around in I person. How me and you know. This is why I fucking hate dude, celebrity dude, culture. Dude, me, me and Travis <laughs> fucking like fucking troll because I was house sitting for uh, uh, Mercer and Marisha, and uh, he made the mistake of leaving his computer on, and uh, I, I fucking <laughs> called Travis <laughs> over. <laughs> you I, fools! Our phones were all locked, and there was a whole Twitter war where we would do a thing where we would tweet like shit that we wouldn't say, like fucking like I like to eat. Poo -poo <laughs> fucking poo poo pies, <laughs> random crap. Uh, we did that shit, and uh, Mercer and Marisha were like locked down. But fortunately, I was watching their bird, uh, uh, Dagon, which I miss. Uh, this is a good bird. That is uh, a great Dagon. name for a bird, uh, by the way. Uh, uh, but was... but uh, I was there, and I was like, holy shit, because I was trying to. Here's a dumb fucking nerd story. I, I need I needed to fucking log on to World of Warcraft because I needed to fucking get on because I was like we had a raid and I was like I gotta go and do the thing. Didn't you do I a did, voice for I, Warcraft? Uh, I did the Ooh. mighty uh, Tonton fucking what the fuck is his name? I don't know, but but <laughs> I, I can't remember right now. The, the Tonton, it's on there. It's on, that's the one. If, if you look, I can do the thing, but uh, but no. Uh, I fucking, we were, I was there and I was like hanging out and I was like, I got it. I was like logging into their computer. I think it was Marisha's computer. And I was like, oh fuck, they're still on Twitter. Oh my God. So I called <laughs> fucking Travis immediately. I, he drove over. I've got a golden oh, yeah. ticket. He drove over immediately. <laughs> He's like, I'm there. And we fucking just like posted a bunch of shit <laughs> on their Twitter via the their computer, and it was it was fucking it was fucking wonderful. Um, so I'm just saying, the, the, I'm just that's saying, what friendship's all about. It was it was fun. It was cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> the you know the 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 uh, the shifts you know, when a lot of money and everything else gets involved, everything changes. Uh, and uh, that's kind of the yeah. thing that everybody should prepare themselves for, which I did not because I didn't care. Yeah. I just like honestly, I just didn't give a fuck. Like I, I was like in my own fucking heap of troubles and whatever, and I just didn't give a shit. Um, and uh, Marisha, I think, was the only one who tried to set me straight. And I, oh, and Erica Ishi, she was another one who. who um, oh, she's cool. Uh, she she yeah. was. I mean, I made her demo. I made her a voice actor. Like like. Oh, oh yeah. Abs absolutely. Damn, oh, absolutely. Nice. Um, uh, I, like I was her mentor for her first few years going in, and uh, 
introduced her to, uh, you know, I told her that Tal, uh, t I told Talis and I'm like, oh yeah, no, she's cool. Uh, and he's like, okay, cool. And then now she's, yeah. and I'm so proud of her. Uh, I love her to death and, um, I'm so proud of her and how much she cares. She's just, she's a wonderful human being. Um, and I miss her very much. Um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, that, 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 that was when I was like, Oh, we gotta, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Uh, <clears throat> she helped me with a lot of my antics, uh, uh <laughs> back then. Um, but yeah, uh, God, I lost my train of thought cause I'm thinking about her now, uh, which I haven't had to do in a while, but <clears throat> sorry. And it's been a minute. Yeah, I would yeah, no. imagine. Um, yeah, she's... But before we get too off track, I'm going to just uh, kind of finish up with a little bit of what we got oh. for the uh, okay. news for this week. Okay. And then we can like uh, circle back because like I, I love hearing uh, all these stories that you have. Honestly, like, I'm loving it. Yeah, like normally like I'll dominate an episode, but like, no, oh, I, I, I'm about it. This is our <laughs> Ryan's Ryan's free for all right now. So. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you, you know uh you know uh, when you get like five orions uh together we form voltron i would the world has never seen such which, a, which one are you which one are you masks uh i am uh, the left leg <laughs> which is weird because i'm right-handed my brain was like he's a left my brain was like he's a left foot for sure <laughs> right. I'll, I'll, I'll take the left arm i'll go blue I'll go blue. Every yeah. time I'll go blue. <laughs> That's an acting joke. <laughs> That's the way to go right there. So in other news of uh, TTRPG space, Owen uh, Casey uh, Ste Steven Steffens, a highly respected uh, RPG designer known for his work on D&D, &D, Pathfinder, and other games. Like He's had his hands in like tons of uh, RPGs over the years. And apparently this uh, guy that's been like like instrumental in designing all these games has uh, he's got this whole can he's currently battling cancer which oh, no. dude heart goes out to you man and to you. he's got a whole GoFundMe campaign going on to help him out with his cancer struggles currently he's been able to raise thirty eight thousand dollars from about 600 donors and with an aim to reach 150 K like ca cancer uh, treatments are no joke. Damn. I wish him the best. You uh, know? Same. I mean, I've, I've had family who dealt with, you know, stuff like that. And it's no. never easy. Oh, like, looks like it says here that he's uh, earned accolades such as the, uh, what is it? The any award multiple times. I don't know what, what that is, but you know, you since the, I do like this any, podcast, like maybe I should learn. IE? Oh, no, no, E N N I E. Any award. That's like the Any Awards. I'm like, that's, 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 that, that's yeah, yeah. You, you look that up. The Any the, Awards are for role playing game products and their creators. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so he is an award winning game designer. Oh, nice. Uh, it's good to see. Uh, this is a life worth saving right here. But it looks like uh, he's uh, got his own uh, boss going with this. No. Did they really have to kind of like, well, okay, I guess that's the obvious uh, way to spin things when you're talking in, in uh, writing articles. And then they uh, ended off with, uh, as his radiation therapy has him confronting the monster with unholy fire. Unholy oh. fire, dude, that's radiant damage. Yeah, if you want to get technical. Is he talking to like a pope? I'm just saying. Like, uh, that's crazy. Th that Me. is. Radiation the... magic. <laughs> <laughs> Nuclear wizards, just saying. And then the hey. other piece of news. Do we know? Well, hold on, is, Orion, uh, do, do we know what state he's the... in? Oh, yes, yes. Um. Oh. Ooh, that's what a good in? question. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna. Uh, Sam, let's, let's look yes. this man I up. I mean that that that's a big thing because I'm like. That you know, depending on where state you are, you can, um, there's options for that, especially with cancer treatment. And I know this very well. So if you are, uh, hard hit on money, <clears throat> like, uh, via California, if you don't 
have enough money to do that, you can just drop to Medi-Cal and then it's free treatment. So like, like these, these other states, mm. which fuck those other states, by the way, fuck you other states no. for fucking making people pay for so much fucking money for goddamn treatment. Um, California has a lot of things. New York as well. Um, I believe, uh, Illinois, uh, has a, a, a decent program so it it, it all depends yeah. on where you're at and yeah. uh most of you republican fucking states and i will get political right now fuck you fuck <laughs> you you <laughs> motherfuckers you ruined everything for everybody else i am so That's glad fine. i am politically fine. in the middle <laughs> People can hate me all and you fuck you oh, but because, because there are states <laughs> out here uh oregon and another yeah. one if if you have a certain uh you can claim low income and they will treat you and you, it won't fucking kill your goddamn yeah. fucking life on top of your life killing you so yeah. so uh, i feel that cuz like i live in maine and that the low income insurance stuff is the I'm, only I, I'm reason saying, that i'm right? alive so again right now. maine is a great state like you know we talked about that before it, 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 so 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 uh that needs to be heard by people like you you need to know where the fuck you're at what your options are mm -hmm. medically i'm not exactly sure of yeah. like the stage or anything but i did find a post on his twitter from what looks like last year uh says i have cancer it was diagnosed in march 2023 but it didn't start then in fact mm. my best guess my medical team is my cancer first developed in late 2014 nine years nine fucking years since okay so seattle, seattle okay there you go eyes. so there you go Okay, so that so a little bit that but, might but, tell for, you a little bit, maybe no, not. Sorry, sorry. Like, for, for people listening, like know what your state is, know where you're at, like like know what your options are because fucking fuck hmm. Republicans. Okay, they've 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 fucked you. <laughs> Stop voting for them, you idiots. If you're voting um, still, like they fuck you all the time, and I don't get it. Where other fucking states will provide you medical care everything else that you need to survive and be healthy S fucking stop it what the fuck sorry i got i got the best compromise for every part of uh, everyone but no one likes uh, what i have to say on this stop sending oh, our money to yeah, causes that go to kill people good. and just take all that that's and push good. it into healing i would agree 100 percent. That, that's a spicy take <laughs> The military industrial Jeez. complex will not allow it. Spicy like <laughs> salt on boiled know. chicken, man. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't fucking understand. Like, I love Texas. I'm like, really? Oh, are you sure about are you sure about that? Why? <laughs> are you sure about that? Texas doesn't love I'm you. Doing, like... I think you should leave by Tim Robinson. To, to be fair, Texas has that song, like the the stars oh, at night. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So, looking into other news uh, this week, <laughs> it looks like the uh, uh, the veer, uh, uh, Orion learned to talk. Uh, there's a open beta play test starting on March 12th this month. That is. Uh, have you guys heard of Dagger? Yeah. Art? Oh, that's. Oh, oh, yeah, I have. That, that. That's where you. Uh, where where like she like you guys like make out and then you just kind of like do the, like a, a boob. Like sex, ayo, <laughs> dagger. Heart. Hold on, what? You, you know what? He the might be more heart. educated on this than I just, am, but like, I'm, like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, more. I'm trying to be really <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it says here that it's a a new fantasy oh. uh, tabletop RPG from so Darrington Press, ah. and, and uh, the, the game designer Spencer Stark. Uh, who uh, worked on stuff like Alice is Missing, and I think he also worked a little bit on Candela Obscura. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, so he's got his First hands in a Tony. bunch of different projects and whatnot. <laughs> I'm, I'm... Tony Stark giving us all the latest <laughs> in D&D technology. <laughs> Uh, this D and D technology includes a system that uses a twelve-sided die, that representing hope and fear, alongside with a card-driven mechanic. The character creation involves cards representing domain, subclass, community, ancestry, domain and expansion. other abilities. <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen <laughs> all day. Yeah. 
<laughs> so uh, it's it's for a rules light uh, style game, very similar to Powered by the Apocalypse or Avatar Legends. So if any of y'all listening are interested in that, check out the open beta. Yes, paint yourself it's blue. Free. Go into the water. Because you, yes. you said the dances Avatar, with Smurfs. That's, that's, with, uh, it's because you said the Avatar. Ah, yes. Uh, you know what? We needed James Cameron to raise the bar because no one else would dive down deep enough to go get it. <laughs> James Cameron does what James Cameron does because James Cameron is, in fact, James Cameron. <laughs> King of the world! <laughs> the fucking James motherfucking Cameron. Uh, yeah. uh, all right. So we have about we got like thirty minutes, minutes left. left. What are you talking about? It's now a good time to head into our <laughs> All right. So I guess you guys aren't going to hear the stinger, but I'm Ooh. loving it. Ah, generic room. That's fun. He got paid thirteen million dollars for that, by the way. <laughs> uh, the, I, I love the generic realm stinger because it's just our little play on the uh, goddamn Wayne's World. <laughs> Are you talking about that or like? <laughs> no, 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 like it. Yeah, yeah, like that. Like that. <laughs> generic realm, generic realm. <laughs> <laughs> you can use that. Um, pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, you know, specifically in a 1990s context. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. He's, like, uh, he's got that 90s grunge. I was thinking about like the Wayne's bro. We're doing, we're doing like, a little color, like. <laughs> that's like, a right. <laughs> that's a very different. <laughs> Boop a doop. I'm gonna take my thing. Done. No. Exactly. <laughs> Do we have one more question? I know we have all right. That we didn't even get to, but <laughs> go ahead. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, first, uh, thankfully, my homebrew this week is short and sweet. I present to you guys the Rage Hand spell. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, that's that's so, when you. That, that's when, is that, let me guess. Is that it, when you oh, fist no, somebody without loop? One. Uh, you know, under normal hand. circumstances, but you know, if this is a very special c circumstance, oh wow, this spell that has sixty feet of range. Power blast. <laughs> it's, right. Yes, it, it's something else entirely. So, rage. Oh, why just do rage that, computer? Uh, <laughs> so, rage hand casting time one action, sixty foot range, duration instant, verbal and somatic components. You summon a magical fist two feet in diameter made up of shimmering <laughs> nope. translucent force made up nope. of the, the shimmering <laughs> no. translucent force field. The hand streaks towards a target that you can see within range with the yes. intention of punching the target. Make a make a range spell attack on hit. The fist strikes your target for one without consent six I don't force agree. damage. It's a target. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, okay, wait, but like melee spells are always really fun to me. I feel like. Oh, yeah, see, this one, that's for range. And once you're in melee range, five feet, it yeah. increases to, it becomes a melee uh, spell attack that does 1d10 <laughs> force damage. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> and it scales as a typical uh, that, uh, yeah. cantrip. That's does. A cantrip? No. That's not bad. No, that's too much. Yeah. I, I oh, like no, 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 that's that's too much for a cantrip. There's like that. That's like fucking giving fireball as a cantrip. You're like, yeah, fucking, what the fuck? Why not? Uh -huh. Oh, it's just a little slap. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'll give you a quick, quick thing right now. Uh, in in our campaign, right? Critical, okay. Uh, uh, I before that I created here here's a fun here's a fun story come sue me fucking wizard of the coast I dare you um 
Come get it. Come get it. Come get it. Come get it. Oh, yeah. Come get it. What's Come he get it. called out? Um, Here we no, go. Uh, I, I had this, uh, I developed this spell with Mercer, uh, Pillars of Defense, right? And and it was, uh, I could uh, summon pillar stones at like to a certain height. I think it was like 20 feet or something like that, or 25 feet or something like that, like uh, like mm -hmm. at three at a time, right? And then if I, 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 I spent extra... Uh, okay. Uh, SP points, I could do more, right? So essentially, it was like I can be like everybody's in danger. Like it was again, Avatar: The Last Airbender. It, it was all, yeah. yeah. But but, like but I would be able to fucking and... smash motherfuckers and kill them instantly if it like hit, right? So like it was a thing. Yeah. So a, it's a more fun it, version of Earth Wall. Then they took yeah. that from me. Oh no! Because I made Damn. that shit up, and then Rip. when we became a show, it was in the fucking book, and it, yeah, oh, and, and that's fucking for real. Shit. And I, I talked to ah. I talked to people about this, and I was like, "This this was my thing," and they're like, "Yeah," but they knew about it, and now we're with them, so they they, they what, exactly now you know, it's ours to be do that, and so. I'm I'm telling you, so everybody who has that ability is use it, that's because of me. Um I'm I'm just saying it's called the pillars, original creator. Pillars of Defense, <laughs> uh is what it was initially called. Uh and uh that, that was back in Pathfinder. Um when we were doing shit. And uh I'm just saying so like later on when we became a thing, uh there's some there's some there's some tea y'all can drink, like on that shit. Because uh, that's that's the thing, and, and <laughs> I remember because when when I brought it up, uh, Mercer was like, he's like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> he's like, he was like, it, like he, look, it was totally cool. I mean, you know, we were, you know, we were, we we're all tight. Uh, and he was like, he's like, I don't know, fuck man. He's like, I don't know, fuck it. He's like, I fucking don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what to do either. I'm like, but that was my idea. And I'm like, wow. He's like, I don't know how to do. <laughs> and I'm like, but, so props to him, uh, and, and much love to all of them, really. Uh, yeah. He does find a way. Opportunists always do. That's how way. it works. Like, but it, 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 it's it's a thing where yeah. that time it wasn't that. It was just like we were homies, and he's like, "I don't the fuck." Um, and and uh, but yeah, I mean, e e even at the end of this, you know, much love to all those cats. Uh, uh, because because they deserve it, and uh, you know, um. Uh, I'm on the right track now, but you know, uh, I, 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 I felt, I, I, I fell off it? because yeah. I wasn't okay to be with the business when I came with that stuff. But, uh, yeah, so there's, there you go. A uh, little, 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 uh, pillars of fence history. It's when you guys are like slamming up pillars to do stuff and all that stuff. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, no, I, yeah, I, I, I did that. I did that. Uh, I did the thing. He did, did the, the thing. thing. That um, was me. Damn, I want to leave my mark on D and D like Honestly, at large what? with a, with a spell or something. Because like being able to contribute like an ability that people are like, oh yeah, yeah, this thing's amazing. I mean, hey, just keep writing weird shit up, and then, uh, then, yeah. Shout out to the, the creator of this <laughs> magic pimp slap. Magic pimp <laughs> like, slap. That's what I want to do. <laughs> Get you, get you the cloud that you deserve for this fun spot. Yeah, the link will be in <laughs> the, the description. Good. Uh, okay, good. I'm like, I want to know what the hell that is. Yeah, we always give credit to the content creators that we get these homebrews from. Oh, we try to find, they know, the original creators, the artists, whatever we can get, and give them yeah. the credit that, you know, oh, shit, doesn't Sam. like to give sometimes. Speaking of which, uh, Sam, you got yourself a you have a, a homebrew this week. What you got? I do, I do. Today, I present to you the Abolith Eye. Ooh. We talk a lot about, you know, using parts for monsters and, you know, how we can benefit their abilities. It's like a, Frank, it's like a Frankenstein blah, blah, blah. kind of thing? Basically. Oh, nice. Kind of. This is a very rare attunement gemstone. The spherical gem is a dull gray color, but occasionally flashes with a red glow. It contains the essence of an abilus eye and grants you some of its psionic abilities. Ooh. Ooh. I so always wanted to be a physic. Uh, 
<laughs> so we got amphibious. Nice. You can breathe air and water. Pretty standard, you know. Telepathy. You can communicate telepathically with any creature within 120 feet of you that can understand a language. Next up, we have enslave. As an action, you can target one creature you can see within 30 feet of you. The target must succeed on a DC 15 wisdom saving throw or be charmed. The charm target is under your control, and you can, you and the target can communicate telepathically with each other over any distance. Whenever the charm target takes damage, it can repeat the saving throw, ending the effect on success. No more than once every 24 hours, the target can also repeat the saving throw when it is at, when it is at at least one mile away from you. The charm also ends if you are incapacitated or on a different plane of existence, oh. or you die. You can only have one creature charmed by this item at a time. If you use this action on another creature, the previous one is no longer charmed. Target is hostile. I have advantage in the saving. Basically, like a like a th enthrall with like a vampire. Just right? say that then. Nothing too crazy. I, feel. I, I mean, it, it, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> it's basically like, the same. Like shit. that's a that's a roundabout way of uh, this, saying it. It's just like so. And let me give you this. God yeah. damn yeah. it! There's. <laughs> <laughs> Let me no, just rename. DM style. I always give damn but shit. So this up. item does come. With a Sorry, hidden Sam. Curse. I had to. <laughs> so the gemstone has a hidden curse that is revealed when you attune to it. While cursed, you are unable to end your attunement and unwilling to part with it. You also gain a flaw determined by the DM or by rolling the table below. So we do have a D6 flaw table here. I That's love that there's a curse flaw table. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so first up, we have. Obsessive dreams. Your sleep is haunted by vivid visions of submerged cities, writhing tentacles, and forgotten knowledge. These dreams are both captivating and unsettling. Love that. That just makes me think of like the Kanye West episode of South Park, yeah. where he's like, "No, I have to, I have to accept this." A gay fish. Kill John Lennon. <laughs> Kill John. <laughs> Right, so with a have, right RP, this is hilarious. I can say it. We have compulsive secrets up next. A whisper in your head urges you to uncover hidden truths and ancient mysteries. You become obsessed with uncovering forgotten lore, even at the expense of your personal safety or relationships. Can we just add, like, personal boundaries? Like, I, mean, <laughs> I must discover... Like, please, tell me about your right. traumatic backstory. Like, what the hell? Please. <laughs> Next up, we have aquatic longing. You feel an inexplicable yearning for water. The deeper, the better. Wow. Whether it's a serene lake, a rushing river, or the vast ocean. You are it's <laughs> gay fish? <laughs> it's, it's, it's right it's there. Still, <laughs> I, it's still a gay fish. I'm okay with this. Look, if you learn to read between the lines, we know what it's really saying. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's DM By the way, do you know how many if I ever tracks, saw it? Yeah, yay fucking made after that shit about. <laughs> Gay fish, like three, where he mentioned that shit. He put that. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Sorry, sorry. I'm just saying. So good. <laughs> we have a uh, sibilant speech. You occasionally slip into a strange guttural language, the ancient tongue of the Abelos. While you don't understand the words, you feel compelled to speak them aloud. That's just autism. Okay, so you're talking shit in another language. Yeah. No. You can like, speak Spanglish, but like, no one can understand you. It's, fine. You it's also autism, like... I'm just saying. <laughs> it's basically like, like I want pancakes this right now. Makes you autistic. It's like, what are you saying? It's like, I don't care. <laughs> it's basically drugs, too, because with this next one, memory erosion, your memories become fluid, blending past and present. You may forget recent events or confused timelines. Familiar faces blur, and so does That's the just taking acid. reality and dream. Or mushrooms. I'm just saying. Basically. Yes. <laughs> that, this you is, do that's too many psychedelics. You're like, to you are you it's a fine. tree or my father? I don't know <laughs> what's happening. Sorry. Yeah. The, the difference is it oh, doesn't fuck. go away, right. so that You're makes like, it a curse. <laughs> yeah, <it's> true. <laughs> you can sleep it off. And to kind of go with the enslaved and thrall thing. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah, high that, high that high. never goes. <laughs> okay, that would be a nightmare. <laughs> it just gives so you would... like. <laughs> the, Alzheimer's. Yeah. Like, yeah, ask Bruce Willis. Oh, no. <laughs> this next one must be this one must be cancer. Exposure to bright sunlight triggers head. discomfort and anxiety. You prefer shadow <laughs> places, overcast days, or moonlit nights. Prolonged exposure to sunlight might even Gingers. cause physical pain or weaken your this is the, So 
that's a ginger <laughs> thing all y'all know I, lo I love you redheads i love you all, all of you but and last you know but not least just... exactly what he's talking about <laughs> you can't um, get some sunscreen can be removed by remove curse spell cast a six level or higher or similar magic so i would assume that it's talking about like greater restoration wish blah blah, blah. that makes sense yeah. but it's just like mm. Keep the curses. I need my players to constantly I, I would, sunscreen. I would probably prefer that, like, you need, like, a six level. I would honestly just be like, you can't get on. I would just say don't get the ginger place. curse. Because, like, as all my <laughs> and ladies know, it is bad. Um, and you're like, you can't go out in the sun or you die. Like, unless you need, like, 80 or 90. SPF. Start PSF. taking like radiant damage or something. <laughs> but shout out to uh, Timmy's Treasure Vault on Reddit. Uh, thank you for this creation. Oh, yeah, Timmy pretty, has uh, a Patreon. Go do it. Patreon, yeah. Shout out to Timmy there. I'd give it a little bit of a look. Some really cool stuff on there. I love finding just like these creators on you know Reddit and stuff. Oh, absolutely. Because like it's just wild like the the redditor that i got the uh homebrew that i showed you guys earlier like it was actually part of a batch of uh spells where you just change one letter <laughs> okay like, yeah that was a reddit user uh no team 1568 mm. i feel like 1568 is a i mean yeah th that was year. like the birth of um fish i don't know um 15, i don't know <laughs> The birth of fish. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but that reference just made me think of how, like, in Beyblade, Moses like split the Red Sea. <laughs> Where's my canonical, canonical. Jesus in D and D? I want to know. Well, actually, you know, dude, Beyblade subclass. That would be no, it, no, right no, there. No, <laughs> Let it rip. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, how do they let, allow children to carry those things? Those are We're more about, devastating dude, than guns. The metal Beyblades was an era to survive. Uh, oh yeah, Beyblades! Like you the see that Beyblade show? They're they're best. straight breaking boulders with that shit. Not regulated. I mean, it can't be any different was, than people having. There's no child regulation like, yeah. work laws at the time, so that's easy. A it's like if you can lift this sack, God, you will work. Like, you fucking dude. There's children yearn for the. Mines. They were the first canaries they the <laughs> before they realized they can use canaries. Oh, <laughs> but then they just had kids catching canaries because <laughs> it's, it's, it was faster to just make kids yeah, catch canaries the first, in the dust. That's how. That's how it works. Ask the Egyptians; they'll how tell you. The very first. How, how do people learn to train birds? I, I still don't know. And then like, find somewhere. Go. And then come and then back. To back? Here. Like... They're like, oh, food's here or something. But <laughs> as far as kids go, we know the Egyptians had yeah. it down. So, like, they're, they were. The... <laughs> Egyptians had dinosaurs. I'll die on that. Let's go back. <laughs> know your history. <laughs> Okay, so I guess we can end the episode with this knowledge nugget, I guess. Did you know I like <laughs> hieroglyphs and stuff? There are dinosaurs. It looks like we, children's we could, artwork. Just, just, got, just saying. How, how, how do they know about dinosaurs? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, for sure. All right. <laughs> so is there anything that you want to leave the listeners with like uh any like final uh bits yeah of i mean wisdom, we talked about uh, before uh, we go. stuff and in, uh, beforehand which we ne never really touched on yeah. in this and 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 uh, because of all the fuckery <laughs> but uh for people who are looking out to go start in this business um don't go to college don't fucking waste your money on a school uh get a rig oh, meaning uh, you know a mic a setup a small like inner closet or whatever to record something uh oh, exactly, so not like yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, but but get get a, get a, get a space. It doesn't matter where it is. Um, and if you want, it's all about just setting up your rig, getting a a, a good mic, and you don't have to spend that much. Uh, you know, uh, it, it is an investment. It's you know you're gonna spend. You know, uh, if you have a computer, great. I'm sure you do because that's how you're hearing this. But you know, a good a decent mic will cost you around like 300, 400 bucks or, or whatever. You can go crazy and spend more if you want, but that with a interface, that's going to be another 250 if you get a good one. Uh, <clears throat> I would go with the SSL2, uh, the solid state logic uh, uh, interface. Um, AKG is a great brand um, if you if you want to look at that. And there, there's all kinds of stuff. Go do your research, uh, but don't spend so much uh, on something that you're just starting out as. And it's really about uh getting the reps and finding a good coach uh getting your reps in <clears throat> D uh, uh, don't spend time in years of uh, uh, uh college or whatever where you're paying so much money uh and you know just follow your dreams like 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 do what you want to do do it now uh th if anything covid gave us a gift where you can do what you're at. like if you're at fucking kentucky i don't give a fuck where you are you can pursue this dream uh if you have the wherewithal to go and and, and find the work um and that's via twitter facebook all kinds of different avenues fucking craigslist the, fucking everywhere uh mm. oh absolutely like i just started going through uh acx through amazon for audible and it's just like i've already got like i'm, I'm right. working on my second book right now and I, I do want to get out of my normal nine to five because that's just that's just that's not working for me. I need a right. creative yeah. sphere. And, to and, work and it's in. the thing. It, it's mm -hmm. go go and do what you need to do now. Don't don't rely on other people to te to tell you or teach you how to do that unless it's a fucking coach that knows what the hell they're doing and have credits behind their back. Like don't don't do that so anybody in, interested in voiceover i mean i mean you you all can hit me up on on uh orion akaba uh, at, on twitter uh, i refuse to say x uh or or, or. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can always call it key uh, kingdom hearts or, or, is still or, or, that Instagram, or but it's orion akaba you up on key. Those things. and I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to uh answer those questions but uh but uh, just go and do what you want to do. If you if you want to pursue it, go pursue it. Don't fucking wait. Don't tell. Yeah. Uh, don't don't wait for some professor to be like. You spend three years going like, go buy a microphone. Like, no, do it now. Get the fuck out there, and get the fuck out there. Uh, yeah. Look, people like to talk. Why yeah. not you pay for it? You know, it, 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 yeah. it's, it is that thing. <laughs> So, so, I mean, whatever your, whatever your dream is, like it really is, it doesn't, you know, whatever we're talking about, if you want to DM fucking do it, like build, build up a fucking, uh, 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 you know, a one shot. If you're not uh, comfortable with doing a whole campaign, mm -hmm. you know, like just, just do, just do one shot with like, you know, a couple of buddies mm -hmm. or whatever. It doesn't matter where they are at. Like, you know, if, if you're comfortable with that, you know, just, just do that, but, but do what you want to do. If you want to be a player, there's tons of resources to just get into games for 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 D and D and any other tabletop stuff. Like like, just be yourselves, love yourself, and respect yourselves. That mm -hmm. that's it. That's what my message is. Oh yeah, I think those are definitely words to live by because we're like you just said, yeah. we're doing that right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, we started the podcast little over a year ago and really all it took was just not just believing in ourselves to be like okay i think i can do this but you also got to have like at least one person just one person that says yeah. hey yeah. you can do this I, I, I will say this on the uh, more psychological note is be arrogant be yeah. selfish be narcissistic <laughs> just for a little while you need those things you will not succeed mm -hmm. if you are not. If 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 it, 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 this is how it works. So, I know that's a weird fucking thing to say, but fucking be selfish. Be, be like, get, get, get. but it's but you definitely you a need weird to do thing it. for sure. Be you are the best. You are the fucking best. 
you are the best of the fucking best. You're... Exactly. Nobody can be you exactly. like you can be. You. All right. Start. Now that's my end. All right, there you go. <laughs> no, 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 no. I love that. I love that. I think that's a great thing to end on. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I think I will be the best Hope Orion are, I can junior. be because, like, <laughs> uh, the council of Orion is dictated as such. You better be. <laughs> well, if that well, is all. The senior mentor Orion just is just older, that's all. <laughs> all the listeners out there enjoyed hey, this thank episode. You for Orion, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. I really do. You're welcome. Fun. Actually. It was great talking to you, man. <laughs> Look, we, we never thought, you know, you I love that you reached out, back, you know, so I'm, I'm glad you that did. you did. So, you know, best, best of luck to all y'all. Like, thank you. And the people thank we've been you. meeting just by doing okay, this nice. podcast has been really great. We're glad people are having a good time. We're glad some people are enjoying listening and watching. Just listen to us. Shoot the shit. Talk about Fuck nonsense hey. for an hour Fuck and a half. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. All right, Love everybody. You. you have Much a love. great weekend. Much love. Oh.